to jump through it, just for shits and gigs. Shits and gigs? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to come with? I'm, I'm, like, I, I'm just going to step over it and walk back around again. Okay. Is that... I'll wait. Shall I wait and see what happens? Yeah. Do you want to... Grab the egg for a sec. Yeah. So gonna... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yours? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Is she walking through? Yeah. Cool. She disappears. Ah, balls. Hello, uh, and welcome to episode four of Who Lives Who Dies. Let's not make that a thing. Let's not make that a thing. We're not just hello. Yeah, uh, yeah you. welcome. I'm uh, so glad that you could join us once again this evening. Um, I am joined once again with David Cox, Cheryl Berniston, Rose Redon, Guy Samuels, and Sasha Burbo. Uh Yeah, we're going to here to play some Five E Dungeons and Dragons with a load of homebrew, um, some good stories, some good jokes, some good times, um, and yeah, and make it happen. Uh, how you guys feeling? David, how you doing? I'm excited, Matt. I am excited. I was deciding things and I am set. And what have you landed on? Things. Things. <laughs> Plural. Yeah. So the griffin and the griffin egg. Oh, I mean, God. you may think that. I couldn't Don't possibly you comment. Don't fucking touch that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you up. We will try. I'm far in the distance. I'm That's gone. Fair. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll figure that out. We're flying. Yeah, we're flying, babes. Yeah, we're having a lovely time. Great done. But yeah, once again, thank you so much for coming. Um, please, all the artists, musicians, people who made this possible, all of their links and descriptions. So please check out their online stores, their Patreons, their social media, as well as our wonderful talent and our incredible crew in the form of Jeffa. Uh, in the Woo! Jeffa! She's, she's a good egg. She's a good sort. I'm not a griffin egg, but she's she's up there. Uh, figure out. But yeah, um, I think we'll be able to blitz through that nice and quick. So unless anyone has anything else they want to say. All right, time for another episode of. Who lives who dies? <gasps> Gotta work on that intro. Yeah, intro. 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 episode, our heroes made a daring escape away from the soldiers, stumbling into the glade, owned by the quite wizened and aged wood elf known as Nata. Um, after some conversations, some revelations, some back and forth, she helped heal them up, gave them a place to rest, and then sent them on their way to deal with a beastie, as she put it, who'd been plaguing the forest nearby. Um, the party snuck, snuck up on, on the area, uh, <laughs> finding a clan with an old abandoned tower, realising that the griffin they had been chasing down had instead made nests. Um, they surrounded it with, with something of a good plan um, and came through and after some daring moves and trying to tie it down, the griffin took up, flew away as Saskia took the one griffin egg in the nest and sprinted into the forest, um, escaping on the back of Miley, who's now taken the form of a horse, uh, with uh, Mayway landing on her shoulder a short while away with David, uh, David with Alexi. My, my apologies to Alexi landing right. on the grounds. <laughs> Don't let happen again. Um, <laughs> After a fierce battle of beating the griffin down slowly over time, the griffin now lies on its last breath, bleeding on the ground with no one but Alexi nearby. And so as the scene comes in, we all look to Alexi to see exactly oh, yeah. what happens next. 
<laughs> wow, this is this is intense. Uh, okay, Alexi will get off the griffin, kind of rapier still in hand, will unwrap the chain from the griffin's neck and just kind of like put that at his hip. And kind of still holding the rapier, but will just kneel by its head and just gently just stroke it while it's in pain. Griffin lies, breathing, very shallow. Just quick, quick breaths, not really paying attention or completely oblivious to, yeah. to that. Uh, one wing is broken, the other has a large arrow sticking out the side of it and it, it tries to flap and it, it can't, it does not have the strength. It just gives quite a meek. Still just trying to see that. Okay. Melly, what are you doing? Have I gotten there yet? Uh, I'm continuing. I'm continuing to make my you're, way. You're to continuing. Wherever. Yeah, you've you've gotten up. You've dusted yourself off. So how long are you doing this for, Alexi? Just yeah, just doing it. Just doing it. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 come across and you know it's not a clearing. You've cra- they've crashed through the trees and and amongst the brush, the brush, the brush, <laughs> they're they're tangled up um, inside. And you see Alexi, seemingly comforting this Griffin, um, with his weapon on your weapon on his on his on his waist and just. Soothing the, the creature. I've run out from something. Oh my. Oh, Alex, is that okay? It is so in a lot of pain. Um, I will kneel at the head of the griffin and also stroke it. Okay. And uh, pull a minor healing potion. Uh, out wait, of it. you. Mm, that yes. might be dangerous. It might, but we don't want it to die. Well, no, but also if, if it suddenly has a injection of life, it might lash out. It's only little. It's and rather quite large. <laughs> the potion. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with I don't know, we leave an animal like this, it could very well just expire on its own. We need to try and let it out alive. You're probably right. Um, and Alexa so will just stop Stroking the griffin for a second and mm-hmm. hand Mayway a chin. Yeah. This looks expensive. Do be careful with it. Uh, thank you. I'm not that, that practiced with it yet. One day. And I'll clip it back. So I'm just going to try and do lots of eye contact with the griffin. Sure. Like, how do I know how intelligent these creatures are? Uh, make a nature check. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared of your dice. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh... Nature, ooh, eleven. Um, it's it's a bird. You know, birds aren't the smartest, and you can only surmise that this creature was it was very territorial, it was protecting oh. its nest. It's <clears throat> it's acting on instinct, and you can't see anything to suggest a greater intelligence beyond that. All right. Well, Alexi, here's a plan. I'm gonna pull this in, and then we're gonna run the fuck away. Right. Um, and it'll keep going after its baby and leave, and hopefully, Mala and Saskia will come back. So you think they now have enough of a... I hope so. I hope so as well, but if it does come for us, we will need to defend ourselves. I understand. But we can try and evade first, and we'll keep going in that direction anyway to keep leading it north. Uh, All right. We'll go (coughs) in the opposite direction of the other two and head back towards the ruins. I'd say we go that way in case it hunts us. We still need it to go north out of the place. Well, I think it's more likely to Maybe. go for its child. We could hide and watch and see what happens, but we wouldn't get a head start then. What do you want to do? <sighs> if we're going to heal it, then we may as well. We'll have to. We'll run north for a little bit and dive under some sort of shrub. Whatever cover we can. Look at you, a man in nature now. Man, this certainly had an effect on you. Well. When one has quite literally ridden atop a griffin... <laughs> See, I bet you never would have gotten that in no, a No, no, I will, I will be dining out on that particular story for quite some time. Right, um, we are wasting We're going to get you more stories. Excellent. Right, clap him on the back and pop the cork off the healing potion. Yeah, and... So, how, how, how are you doing this, by the way? Into its mouth. Are you just... Or are you... Being very gentle, gentle. With it. Cool. We'll make an uh, animal handling check first. Alexi will also help with that. As you walk up to the giant 
beast with a big beak and razor sharp claws. Yeah, but I was stroking it yeah, and doing lots yeah, of eye that's, contact. That's, so that's, it's, a lower, it's a lower DC for that reason. Haven't choked it to death. Can I be helping? Uh, yep, how are you helping? Well, I mean, I've been stroking its face for the last four, 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> How we doing? Seven, with advantage. Rolled a two and a seven. Two. Well, uh, I guess we'll find out what happens when you put the potion in it. No. I do it. Cool. Uh, give me two d four plus two. Uh, is that what it is? My healing potion two d four plus two. Cool. Uh, four, five, six. Cool. Um. The arrow is still stuck in its wing, and it's still cut, and the breathing becomes less shallow. And it tries to stand up, but it still can't. Its leg ah. and its wing, where it landed, is still quite, quite, quite maimed. When I stand up, we'll pull my arrow out. Okay, cool. Yeah. You to allow pull that. the arrow out. Yeah. yeah. It winces a little bit. It doesn't try to stand or attack just yet, but it's breathing slowly. Still so just better. lying there, more in shock than anything. I've got another healing potion. It just needs time to rest. And I feel like we might need Myla. I... Or we could go back and ask Nada for some help. Wait, she said she could hear, right? Yes, she's aware of everything that's going on. Nada! Nada, I'm so sorry to ask for some help, but... Look, we need some help getting the griffin out. Let's you see if anything happens. Make a perception check. Oh, dear. Nine, ten, eleven. You don't see or hear anything straight away. Meanwhile. Dun, 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 dun. So, uh, it's probably been a few minutes now of just, just writing. Um, if you want to make a perception check for me, please, ask you. <laughs> back, back. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. She's back. She's back. She's back. Yes. yes. Riding, riding on the back of, of my line, like gallop. You're, you're, you're not slowing yet, but you turn and you look up and through the few gaps in the trees. You don't see or hear anything at all. You've been sort of like going through breakneck speed, mm. but you don't appear to be being chased at this exact moment. Just running through forests, continuing north, straight ahead on a path. What would you like to do? Um, I think we should keep going, but I'm aware that uh, you need to preserve your strength. So maybe we'll go down to a, a trot rather than a canter. Or go down to a canter from a gallop. I'm not entirely sure how <laughs> horses work. So there's between a canter and a trot. Canter's quicker than a trot. All right. But a gallop's quicker than a canter. Yeah. Yes. We Correct. were galloping. So let's where's, where's, get where's, cantering. Just, just a question for me. Where does gapping it, uh, pegging it, sorry, fall on the Sure. <laughs> pegging it is like a badass gallop. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to take it down a notch. Sure. Um, but we've got to keep going because we need, we need to get this baby... That way. So I think we need to keep going. So you're just going to carry on? Yeah, I think we need to. All right. Yeah, you I think guys... if we stop, we're fucked, right? So. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, <laughs> you're useless. We can't talk to you. So you guys carry on to the forest. Just and... gonna, yeah, I just want to slightly, cool. just slightly slower. The light starts to come in. You start to notice a few more animals popping up from time to time. And you're just carrying on straight Excellent. north? Yeah, straight north. Cool. Make a survival check for me, please. No, was that one? Seventeen. Great. Yeah, you, you've got a, you've got a good sense between the two of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit tragic. Well, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> got a good sense, and you carry on through. You're feeling confident. You've got a purpose going yeah. on now. Yeah. Yeah. Great. D twenty two. What's up? Um, <laughs> I put him maybe a hundred feet behind now at this yeah, point. Yeah, I think fair? I think for the sake of brevity, yeah. Yeah. You, you managed to track through the the rather chaotic. Yeah. Growth, and you can hear a conversation going on up ahead of you. I'd say at the moment his his legs are just 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 working very very you know um, one eye kind of clearing away the other eye is still counting what how many seconds he's got <laughs> away uh, and and holding a cloak as he goes just trying desperately to catch up. Great, cool. Uh, so as you two are dis- discussing, uh, not very quiet or subtle, you notice a D twenty two entering. Just, oh. just 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 slightly south of you. D D twenty two. Ah, greetings. Yes, hello. Uh, are you, are you, well, you were all right. It never, it didn't hit you, did it? Did what, what hit me? The giant bird. No, giant bird missed me this time. 
You killed it? Well, uh, no. No, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's still quite wounded. It needs some time to rest, which should, by the others, time to get where they need to. Ah, we should finish job off now and kill no, said no, lion no, bird. No, 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 please, no. We're trying to keep it alive. It's baby. It needs to go rejoin its baby. Processing. Shall I send message, perhaps, to other members of our gang? Can, can you do that? How? I believe I can send a message. You can I? send a message, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... I will What's point out the range? the range is only 120 feet. <clears throat> it's not sure she's in. No, no, it's going to be like the cat all over again. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> you could try to send a message to Nada. GPS tells me we are out of range for message success this time. D22 fails. No, you didn't. You didn't fail. It was simply that you you, you didn't have the, the the option to begin with. It, it's 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 really not. You've not done anything wrong. Like it's, it's it's quite all right. Processing. Thank you. you you're welcome. Uh, we the ruins. Did we? Did you? Were you, were you able to uh, find the the cloak and uh, anything else that may be of use to us? Processing. No. Deception check. <laughs> we talked about this. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. You can't lie. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Um, so I've got eight. Uh, that's, 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 <laughs> that's a nine, that's a six. Yeah, so yeah. eight, yeah, yeah. Eight, eight's my lowest. Thanks to you guys. All right. <laughs> Look at his little face. Look at his little face. So if we were to go back there now, mm -hmm. we would find that everything is exactly as we left it. Yes, perhaps we should explore together and split what we find. Because everything will be as it was left, yes? Because you haven't picked up anything. <laughs> Processing. I may have found some silver or coppers somewhere. Right. Is that all? I would emphasize that stealing from our host is most unhospitable. I would like to try it. Honesty. I have found four silver and, and a cloak. <laughs> right, okay. Ah, I see. And I'm just, just kind of holding this, this cloak out. Yeah, in front, a little bit dirty from the from the walls. It's a little bit dirty. It's a little bit, a little bit of blood on it. But otherwise, it, it seems to sort of hold a sheen. And you notice it as he as he holds it, it, it sort of flickers and blends a little bit with with the, like the, the the brown of the ground and the orange wood of his arm. It seems to like flicker a little bit. Would you like to buy said coat for reasonable price? Well, perhaps we could discuss that. But perhaps we could give it back to our host in recompense for her hiding us from the law. Hmm. Please define recompense. When someone does something good for you, you do something good for them. I am learning from you. Also, I am she, very happy. She did mention that she can uh, hear more or less everything that is going on and see everything. So everything that you have already acquired, despite how tenuous your honesty may currently be, uh, she knows. Processing. And Shit. <laughs> on cue, a small brown hawk flies in. What's up? She lands there in front. Doesn't look at any of you and goes straight, straight towards the griffin. Ah, I was going to find you to return your cloak. She, okay. Oh dear. She gets down on one knee, with, drops the staff at, at her side and just puts, puts the hands in and just sort of like holds it very tight. Starts whispering in, in, in the ear of it and she's going to cast a third level cure wounds. Um, healing at four, that's not a great level. Uh, it's 15, 18. So healing it for, uh, to uh, up at 18. And you watch, I mean the potion helped a little bit. Um, but as she sort of whispers in the ear, you notice the cuts. So it's starting to heal over and, and fade and just turn into scars. 
the wing sort of like stretches itself back out and like it flaps a little bit and it stands and rises up and something comes back down and she just starts whispering um i don't think any of you speak sylvan do you i do no just start sort of speaking well it sounds like elvish but not not quite I speak Sylvan. You speak Sylvan, so you'd recognise she's she's whispering a spell and telling her to calm and everything's okay and explaining her place. Um, it's all fine, it's all fine. Please come, friends. The beast calms and you notice like a small blue glow appear in her eyes and is shared with the griffin. And the griffin, for the moment, becomes docile and sits. But there's still something inside. There's still a look in its eyes that it darts around and looking between the rest of you. Thank we, you. We didn't want to hurt it. it it's well, well, dear, you did a pretty poor job of that. What I was going to say was that the, the sleep flower did not quite succeed. We've been trying to move the nest, the egg we found in there. It was... oh no. It's headed north with two of our party members. She stops, and her eyes go white. Meanwhile, now, as you're, yeah. Who has two coconuts? You're riding north, things are easing up. Myla, you're feeling a, feeling a pull. Something in your gut is telling you to push west. From the start, just like, yeah, moving, moving west. Yo, minor dude. Straight ahead. <laughs> Seriously, hun. Give me a little, little kick. Um, she's gonna kinda give you like a little like a little like a little buck. buck. Yeah. Hey. Not to not, not take you off, but like she's gonna be like protect the egg, man. I... Nah, straight ahead. <laughs> Stubborn as fuck. <laughs> um, Myla is going to stop dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't fucking speak to you. This is pointless talking to a fucking horse. <laughs> it's just forest. Make a perception check if you want, but... Your shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eleven. Eleven. It's, it's forest in every direction. Like, you've got a good sense of which way you've been going, but there's no discernible landmarks or anything. It's just wood for as far as you are, I can see. Okay. Mine is starting to walk west. I, fine. This time you win. But only this time. And she can't really do much about it. Like, she can get off and walk, but yeah, she just sits on and cracks on. Just carries on through. She'll head back into a... Uh, brisk trot slash canter. Yep, so Myla starts to pick up a little bit of speed and you sort of ride along and almost as, as if you guys are both going in together, the trees almost seem to just slide apart a little bit. In Sick. No, you know, it, it, it's, it's very subtle. It's not like they're stepping along. You just, you just feel like the bow is just moving a little bit, making room for the, for the horse. It's been about half an hour, by the way. Just I was going to say, yeah, your reference. thank you. And sort of, you sort of trot and you canter and that, that pull gets stronger and stronger. You sort of, sort of come through and... The, the one sort of like misty sunrise light comes through, a blue glow starts to come in with that. And you suddenly find yourself, before you know it, at another clearing. And you walk into quite a large area, three, four, maybe 500 feet across. Um, old brick and stone work everywhere, and very different to what you saw with the tower, white and it's marble, and there's old ruins and carvings everywhere. On top of a large mound, you see a giant tree stretching up to the sky, swaying in the breeze. It's very peaceful. It's birds in the background. Holy shit! This is the ancient room I've been looking for. <laughs> Damn. What would you like to do? Just, just meander and have a look around. I sure. think she's quite in awe of. Make a make a perception check. Of all of this, right? You can get in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 17. 17. 17. So you you, you, you you trot about for a good 5, mm. 10, 15 minutes and you notice old carvings and hieroglyphics and old infrastructure and large bits of wood and marble and what appear to be jade built into some of these pillars. 
Ooh. old pathways that have long since been overgrown for a long time. Everything sort of works around in a circle, everything walking up, working up towards this big giant tree that stands in the front. And as you sort of look, you notice what appears to be a path leading into not not a tomb, but some sort of structure beneath the tree directly in front. Yo, Myla, what do you think? Should we go? Follow the path? So it's been half an hour and then we spent 10, 15 minutes doing this so and we got here. 15 minutes left of horse time. Yep. Bam, power force. <laughs> do you, do you, does <laughs> Sasuke get off? No. <laughs> <laughs> She falls back, she then grabs the fucking egg and goes, you prick. You could have killed her. Uh, you know, it gets a little, sometimes, you know, you get a little too into the horse. It's, you know, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Let's go. Are we going in? Sure. Do you think, do you think we should take the egg in there? Well, I don't think we should leave it out here. That's true. But it's so cool, look at it. It's big, it's swaying. Wow. Make a... Both of you make a perception check. Or a nature check. Whatever there's benefit you both. 19. 19? 17. The leaves were green when you came in. The swarm is just the slightest hint of yellow on a few of them. In the time of being in here. Um... Let's be quick about it. Okay. I, should we try and tell someone or something? How are we going to do that? Are there any animals around? Uh, no. There's a few birds flying overhead, but there's nothing, there's no deer, there's no, nothing significant as far as an animal goes. It's very peaceful. Okay. It's very, it's untouched. I mean, we could hide the egg. I guess we can't. Let's, do you want to go in? Sure. Are we hiding the egg or are we taking the egg? I think... We take the egg. Let's take the egg. Adventure! <laughs> Adventure! 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 Yes! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you, you, you wander up, you head towards the tree in the center, up up the path, and overgrown grass and trees and knots, and it all sort of like it, it's it's messy, it's chaotic, but like there's a system to it. Everything seems to be working. There's flowers coming up on one side of all sorts of different colours. It's 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 sort of like the glade was very like tended to and you know Nata did a great job. Um, but it's just sort of everything has its place, everything goes and everything seems to be working up towards this big tree in the centre. And it stands a good 30, 40, 50, 60 feet above the rest of the tree line. Um, it's kind of amazing. You don't seem to have recalled seeing anything like this. Mm-hmm. Like you'd see this would stand out on a map and yeah. Thing. So you're approaching. We're approaching. Like I've heard about this place before. Cool. What have you heard? Like just there were these rumors that there was this ancient guard who would who would protect this ancient ruin, and I just, loads of people have thought it would look like different things, but this is something I would never imagined. Old yeah. pine stuff. One more time. Old pine stuff. Well, we don't like old. Oh shit. <laughs> It's not... I'm sorry, that's what I was told. Suddenly, if you both look up, the giant tree is leaning over <laughs> both of you. Oh. Big beards of leaves and boughs on its eyes with branches sticking out in all different directions with a small nest on the moustache. This is the best tree! I've ever seen. Hey, buddy. And I really mm. like trees. So, what is your name? Um, Pine Stop. Pine Stop. I'm kind of the guardian, I think. It's been oh. really, really long time. What are you? Doing here. Getting older with every sentence you say. <laughs> we, we, uh, Nata, sent us. Oh, Nata. I know Nata. Uh huh. She haunted me. Wow, you're old. I mean, you're wise. Uh, you're wise. You've been here a while. It's been a long time. How yes. wise are you? How many years 
wise are you? In your... How old are you? <laughs> it's... No, just still... I think he's, he's doing he's... the tree equivalent of when D22 goes calculating. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't he's, got time, we've got a griffin egg, all right? He's, he's staring you down at the moment. He's looking very intently into you. Looking um, right into your eyes. In your human years, I would be 153,000 months. Give or take a couple of centuries. A long time. This is my domain. I protect the temple. So how did Nata plant you if she's only 3,000 years old? Well, the funny thing about this place is time doesn't really work that same way. Oh. What? I can show you if you would like. Ooh. No. And yes. as, as he's talking, so in front in the entrance, long, thick roots covered the doorway, and they start to like pull back and reveal the entrance. They were blocking the way before. And like, if you would like to see what I mean, a strange magic inside awaits. Are we going to end up really old? No. Are we going to end up really old if we enter you? You might end up really young. I don't know how it works. I'm quite young and I'll just be... Another perception check for both of you, please. Oh. <coughs> 14. 14? 21. Nice. Dirty 21. So, like Honestly. I said... So the leaves have turned yellow. He's now gone full ginge. Full ginge? Like, like full autumn, red leaves everywhere, and few are starting to fall off. And in the maybe five minutes of conversation you okay. had, he's switched entirely to, to a full autumn tree. It's now or never. Uh, um, or never. Um, with a V. Or uh, I, don't, I don't know. I guess. Yes, we're in. Let's go. Adventure. 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 <laughs> Adventure. Okay then. Don't say I didn't warn you. But you didn't warn us <laughs> of anything. And you go inside. <laughs> and the roots close behind you. Oh, you inside the temple. This is your fault. So we beasties feeling okay. I'm gonna take him back to mine. Just rest up. See if I can do anything about this in the meantime. Well, Tom, where's where's your egg? No, no. Which well, which way north, sweetie? In the direction of those hoofbeats. We can go after it. After it. She she ponders for a moment. Yeah. She's worried. I presume they would stop going once they hit the tree line of the forest. The tree line would take... Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) The tree line would take... (laughs) Well, dearie, the um, the tree line would take a good few hours on, even on full horseback. It's a long way to go, but there are other things in the way. Um, There is a a small raiding camp up north as well I've been meaning to talk about, but... That's not the end of it. They might have found the other guardian. If you head up in that way, and as she points, the tree sort of like ripple and, and make their way. It might be your best bet. I'm, I'm somewhat uh, curious. Would finding this guardian be a good thing or a very bad thing? Neither. Right. So, then what do we expect? You expect nothing. What are you looking for? What do you expect? I'm just wondering what kind of position our, our, our allies will be in when we oh, come across... Oh, no, no, they're, they're not in any danger. Um, not immediate. But he's a fickle, fickle thing. He doesn't tend to understand how short lifespans are. Right, now why is that a problem? Well, 
I'm quite old. You are not. Time... You've seen it's always sunset here. Time works differently in this forest. All right, so... <laughs> it's, I, I, can't, I can't really make sense of it. All I'm saying is there are some points where... Well, are you, are you familiar with... Barthnor, the impatient? Would I be? History check. Ooh, 14. You've, you've read the name a couple of times in, in the book, rumoured to have been one of the ones that created... Basically, they broke the barriers between some of, like, the material plane and the fey plane. Um, but because of that, it means time in some places works really funky. And a lot of that might be tied into what's going on here. So you're suggesting there is an inconsistency with time that could, in one way, be either holding time perfectly stationary or speeding up or slowing down. Yes. Right, and do we know what everything will be like around this Guardian, whether or not which of the three it is? Well, if they stay outside, they'll be fine. If they go inside, flip a coin. <laughs> there's, um, there's not really a rule to this. It's, it used to be very consistent, but after Barthnall got his way, it, well, the time difference needs to go somewhere, and that's where it vents through. Well, well, this is your forest. Can you can you send some sort of message to them to, to warn them? Because, oh no, uh, no, no. He, I, no. Well, no, but 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 the elf will will be fine because that's several centuries. But there there is a human. And an egg. Oh. Do eggs have? Oh, you better move quickly then. <laughs> All right, Alexa, D, you want to go? She's, Let's she's go. Got, she's got the griffin. She's leading it back now. It is that way. If you're quick, I mean, they can't have gotten far, but I can't guarantee. Alexi just gives her a very long, cold glare before just moving off without she saying She matches anything. it. Not cold, but she matches it. She doesn't break eye contact. And he just walks off towards May- without saying anything. May we already gone. Yep. Yeah, slowly turn. Cool. Dum, 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 dum. Make a survival check. Whoever wants to lead the expedition. Oh, no. Oh. I'm not great at survival. Um, class zero. <laughs> also, so, uh, you, you're being led, so I'll give you advantage because she's she's pointing. And, you and right. we're tracking we're tracking the hoofbeats of my. Oh well, one of us is gonna do it. Um, oh, yeah, survival check. Yeah. yeah, so it's a lower DC. With advantage. Yeah, go with advantage. Yeah. Go on D twenty two. Always good. Eighteen. Nice. Eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a bit touch and go for a second. Um, but you you see you see what looks like a really cool acrobatics check. Uh, at one point where, like, the hooves go deeper for a half second and then gallop off much, much quicker. Um, but, yeah, you, you, you're able to follow it, and it's very consistent and more or less a straight line the entire way. And the next hour or so, you, you follow and you track. Nothing seems to disturb you. Meanwhile. So you both head inside. Um, it's quiet. It's dry. Um, it's also quite dark. So, if anyone wants to get a torch or create a light. I mean, I can see. But so can I. What? Yes. Wait. <laughs> I have dark vision. How? Wait. And? So, that means... Oh, yeah, yeah! I've got this thing called, like, Divine Legacy. And... I can touch an object that's no longer than ten, that's no larger than ten feet in any dimension. So I'm gonna touch the egg, and the egg can become a light. <gasps> oh, light egg! Yes. Great. So oh God, you, you watch. So cool. You watch for a moment, and Saskia. So like, you don't really know how you did this. Oh, hell no. You like you, you're panicking. It's quite dark, and it's closing in. Suddenly, the, the egg just you feel like a tingling in your fingers, and it's like, Ooh. and you're holding mm-hmm. basically this this giant glowing soft box, and the room lights up. Yeah. Whoa! Right. Whoa. Uh, is it meant to do that? Uh, yeah. I think I actually might be making it do that. What? Yeah. Don't ask. Um, okay. I won't. What are we doing in here? Oh, I don't know. It's nice. How is, um, is it one massive room inside? One massive room inside. Okay. And the, the, the space doesn't make sense. For like it's to go full Doctor Who, but it's bigger on the inside. Uh, really hate that. I hate that so much. But yeah, it's bigger on the inside. Okay. Ah. Oh, but make a perception check. So much bigger on the inside. Get out. 
Uh, oh, that was totally going to... Eight. I can try it as well. Yes, yes. please. <laughs> uh, was it per- perception? Yeah. I think that's plus six. Um, so that'll be 20. Oh, great. Cool. Thank you. So you're blinded. You're blinded by this. Oh, God, how did I do this? Oh, Christ. You sort of step forward and, like, that draw you're feeling, that pull, you feel it in front. And it's a large chamber, maybe 60 feet, 60 feet high, um, all smooth stone, all untouched. In the distance, you see a portal, maybe... 20 feet across and about 35 feet high an archway across. Um, there are leaves and plants and everything sort of grown into the middle of it and it's like a nice, nice forest in amongst the stone, just sort of creaming up and over. Nothing like coming in, but like it's a nice sort of like, almost it looks like an entranceway to something. And in the center of the room, there's a pulsing blue glow and what looks like a shattered crack in the floor where no plants seem to be near, but you need to get closer to see specifically what's going on. Saskia, Mm -hmm. if we're trapped in here forever, Mm -hmm. I think it might be worse for you than for me. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's all right, mate. Okay. Uh, Crack or portal? I think both of them kind of mean trouble, so... Yeah, that's... That's how I'm feeling. Um... You okay? It's... It's a weird place, mm-hmm. and it's been a weird day. Yeah. And... I'm worried we can't reach the others. We don't know if they're alive. Okay. They're good. They're... They're so good. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? They're grand. Okay. Yeah. 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 They're, yeah. They're they're fine. They're fine. We've got this adventure. Right? Adventure. Cool. Adventure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Little ganders. Just have a little look around. Cool. Ugh, the blue crack, dude. Like that's that's your colour. So you know, you do you. I I wish I was an expert on everything blue. But... <laughs> yeah. Me too. Is it like a crack in the ground? Is it sort of like a it's like a big vent in the ground, like, and there's like a pulsing blue light coming up, small little particles coming up as well. You need to get closer though to get I a proper look. I think avoid the big glowing crack. Sure, walk around it. Walk around the arch. Let's have a look end. at the arch. Let's, Let's go see, arch. see if there's okay. anything like on it or anything. Is there any Do writing we... or anything around or? Get, get up to it and have a look. Yeah, let's go. Have a look. So we'll have a little wander over. So you, you're going avoiding, around, avoiding around the, the crack. crack. Avoid the crack. Okay. And we get to this arch. So you approach the arch, mm-hmm. and it's smooth stone. It's very polished, um, and yeah, like if you if you look, it's a freebie. There's writing on the inside of the arch um, in a language I don't think you understand, Sylvan. I don't understand. Sylvan. But also, if you look, etched into each into the arch are gems. Ooh, any pictures for us to understand, or is it all just writing? It's all just writing at this point. I think we should draw more pictures. Uh, 13 in total, and it's a, like a green, jade, smooth, perfect, circular balls, stuck in. Huh. Have you seen anything like this before? I don't think so. Hmm. You know, it's not every day you come across a really giant tree in the forest that lets you inside it, then closes the gap behind you and inside is a glowing crack. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I hear you, sister. Um, so what's on, like, what's through the portal? What? Oh, there's no, it looks like it would be a portal. It's, it would it's, be, it's, but it's, 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 it's... an empty gate at the moment. Yep, there's nothing on the other side. I'm, I'm just going to walk through it. I'm just going to jump through it, just for shits and gigs. Shits and gigs? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to come with? I'm, I'm like, I, I'm just going to step over it and walk back around again. Okay. Is that... I'll wait, shall I wait and see what happens? Yeah, do you want to... Grab the egg for a sec. Yeah. So I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Yours? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Is she walking through? Yeah. Cool. She disappears. Ah, balls. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Not a sound, not a whisper, no nothing. She just. Chaos. Saskia? Saskia? The light fades. Yeah, <laughs> shit. It's an egg. It's just an egg again. 
You're alone in a dark room and you're feeling a pull still to that vent. Not taking the egg in the vent or in the disappearing gate. Pine stop. No answer. Can you let me out? So I can put the egg down? <laughs> no. <sighs> so I'm feeling a pull to the vent rather than the gate. Meanwhile, <laughs> she's gonna let you sit and ruminate on that for a minute. Uh... It's about an hour's gone by. You come to the edge of the clearing. You walk in and sun's still out and everything. It's the first of a clear sky you've seen in a while. Overhead blurs, birds flying on top. And you see a large ruin. Lots of beautiful plants and trees growing on the outside, all leading towards just a big bland mound with nothing on it. Okay, uh, Alexi is still relatively fuming, so is noticeably trying to maintain a degree of calm, but is still rapier in hand just walking towards this mound. And this is where the tracks led us? This is where the tracks led you. All right, I guess we'll spread out and look for them. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll begin with the um, mound and... Um, <clears throat> Alexi. Yes. Take a breath, honey. I yes. feel like you didn't take a breath the whole time we walked here. I am finding it rather difficult to maintain my calm. But yes, all right. Um, <clears throat> we'll look around, uh, try and find what we can, and I'm sure something will turn up. We can talk about it after we know everyone's safe. Yes. All right. Right. Dee, any sign of them? Processing. Can I have a gut feeling? <laughs> can I do a gut check? Tell me what you're feeling. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I feel, I feel, I wanna, I, I feel like um, the top, I'm wearing a saucepan hat, aren't I? Mm -hmm. And every now and again, it just the, the handle of it just kind of tingles around and, 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 and <laughs> points towards a direction I where I feel like I might be needed. Um, and it's just, it's pulling me in a certain way. I'd love to try and send something out to, to see if it comes back with anything in that direction, potentially using my hat. So, sorry, when you, what do you mean you want to send something out? You mean like a message or a... Poten potentially, yeah. If I could, if I could try and, Ooh. if I could potentially um, like infuse my hat to, to go, my, my little saucepan to whirl off and perhaps go out to see, try and find signs of... Uh, of, of I fucking something. love that, yeah, let's, let's do that. That's really cool. <laughs> go for it. I know. Okay. And describe what that looks like for me, please. Go, yes, yeah, so you've never really seen the top of D22's head, but yeah, he's, he's, wearing a, um, he's wearing a saucepan on top of his head back to front. Of course. Um, and it's never obviously moved since, but with a quick crack and a whir, it kind of spins off very, very quickly. And as it does, you see he's got kind of like a, a, copper, a copper, shiny, uh, relatively kind of um, scratched up head with a handle. The handle and the saucepan are now flying around, almost like a drone would do. And um, and I can give that a nudge to, to send it off to go and try and find signs of uh, signs of life or, or anyone in help of need. Make an investigation check. Perfect. How, how, how is he doing? This? I have no idea. I grew up around these things. Oh, nine. I've never seen this before. So it does it does a lap, and it goes it goes around the whole whole area and doesn't see any animals or anything. Um, just. A, Everything seems to be leading to this big mound in the middle. You do sort of see the path leading towards what appears to be a temple of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, quick surround check, tell me that perhaps we should head towards the temple in the central reservation. Temple? But it doesn't really look like a temple. I mean, it might be a really old temple. Head towards the main. Already walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Already walking? Already walking. Okay. Turn from D22 to speak. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I, follow, I follow Alex. <laughs> yeah, it's just a slightly billowing long coat. <laughs> as you, as you walk and as you start today. approaching, get close. You notice that the front is covered with these tiny little skinny stringy roots. Just covering the front, like almost like ropes or webs or something. What would you like to do? Um, I, before like touching anything, I want to take a good hard look at these um, roots, try and sort of 
see if I can trace them back, find out if this if they have any sort of sentience or if it is sure. just literally roots. Make an itch uh, make a nature check for me, please. Okay. Uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> They're roots. You trace them cool, up man. and they seem to go up the hill, but you can't make anything out beyond that. All right, cool. Um, let's reach out and go try and push them aside. They do not hesitate. Okay. Is that just a, what is it, like a stone? Just stone. Tunnel goes dark quite quickly. You can't see sand very far into it. <sighs> well, if, if we're going to, if, if we're going to find them, then the, the, this, this might simply be... How uh, sure are we that they're down there? Uh, not at all. As you watch, Maybe. the roots seem to thicken just a little bit as you're talking. Uh, just almost like just growing in front of your eyes. I, I, I see it too. All right, well, it's very, very dark and, uh, well, I, 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 I don't know your capabilities, but obviously whatever created every single race on this world was not kind enough to gift my people with the ability to see in the dark. So, and he will just <laughs> get out a torch and mm-hmm. strike it. I'll go first, I can see. Are you inside? Are you past the route? No. So you're lighting the torch. Lighting first. the torch. Uh, so, torch. Yep. Up, uh, rapier still in hand. Cool. And in. With the with the lit fiery torch heading towards the roots. That, that is the question I'm asking. That you. is the answer <laughs> I'm giving you. Yes. Cool. I'll take the lead. I can see in the dark. Oh, right. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I still need this because oh, that's uh, fine. That's fine. Just right. If, uh, there's any uh, trouble up ahead, I'll see it before you will with that thing. Fair enough. So as you as you walk towards it with the fire in hand, and as soon as it gets near the roots, you do you mind um you mind not you mind not doing that? It's very it's very uncomfortable. Thank you. Up here. And you see this tiny little twig <gasps> peeking over top with a little leaf out the top. <laughs> do you mind? Uh, oh, um, uh, Can you put it out, please. Uh, no, 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 uh, okay, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 I turn off the torch. Thank you. Hello. Just disappears back over the top there. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> What's your name? Pine Stop. Pine Stop. Yes. Hi. I'm Mayway. Hi. Hi, Mayway. Oh, we're looking for some friends of ours. Have oh. you seen them? Uh, A uh, girl who looks like me with long hair and a uh, human woman, brown sexy short hair. Human. A very, uh, a very rakish looking child. <laughs> no. I haven't, I haven't seen any rakish children in a few years now. A few years ago. Oh, a choice of words. A, 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 someone looked like you came through here. When? Oh, years. Four, four years ago, maybe. What? All it's, right. it's, it's, I, I, I forget. I'm very, I'm very young, I'm very new. Time, time goes funny time, around time's here. Time's funny, I'm still figuring it out. I'm brand new, I'm, I'm not been here long. Do you know who Nada is? Yeah, Nada, I know Nada. She, she sent says us hi here. every now and then. Yeah, yeah, she sent us here to find our friends. Oh, that's, that's nice. I mean. Could you tell us where they went? Well, they went inside. And like, he flips the roots a little bit and like, waves in like a little curtain. <laughs> Would you mind if we follow, trying to find them? Hey. Go ahead, I love new friends. Uh, I, 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 I just uh, read it. I, I, no, I, 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 wait. No, no, no. Is, is time is time moving qu- quicker now? Time's moving the same pace it always moves but, here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but is that is that quicker or is it is it slower than normally out, outside of the forest? This is very important. Well, the forest has it so. Think of it like rings. You've got normal time, and the forest is sort of like a weird time, and it sort of like concentrates in here time. So, it, this is a weird voice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's it. crazy. She's she like the like dirtiest look right now. <laughs> the cutest thing I've ever seen. Go on. So it's it's <laughs> like three different. It's like re- tra- ring, rings on a tree. It's like normal in the forest. It's a bit weird, but in here it all sort of concentrates into one into me. Which is why, which is why, <laughs> um, time works a little bit funny. And as you are, he's growing in front of you, and now from like this tiny little twig, there's like this sapling. He's growing like a big, like 
almost afro of, of, of green leaves and his arms come out and as you're watching, as you're talking, the leaves change from green to red to yellow and fall off and reform. All in real time, you're watching him grow <laughs> from the same spot and the roots thicken. So, I mean, if you want to go inside, that'd be great, but I, I don't really know how it works. Uh, how, how, many, how many days have passed since we started talking? Well, it's the same day, but time is like, it's like a day inside, a year entire, inside of a century. I can't really speak to it. So, so it, oh, all right, so time for us is still normal. Whatever your definition of normal is, yeah. Alexi, it looks like you're trying to find a logical answer in a place that is most likely created and ruled by the Fae. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly concerned about things like uh, food and water and um, our bodies withering, aging and dying. Perhaps you should stay here and I should go. I've got a bit more lifespan than you. I don't actually know how. The good news is that D22 is immune to aging. See, isn't that just fascinating, Alexi? It's shocking me. I, I can't quite appreciate it right now. Um, all right, let's 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 just go in, find them, and get out of here. I don't like it. It's freaking me right the fuck out. <laughs> well, okay, if you want to go inside, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, like a full-grown tree, not as massive as, as the original pine stuff. But all right, here you go, son, and just. Up. Thank you, Panstar. No worries, You're sweetie. looking lovely. Thanks, not so bad yourself, sweetheart. I'll see you on the other side. I'll tip him a wink and I'll go in. You go inside. Yeah. Going inside? I'm going inside. Going inside? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, friends. We need to <laughs> our friends. Maybe we should have asked the tree if he could just let our friends out. Anyway. So you walk in. You walk in. Meanwhile. There's Myla's skeleton on the ground. There's a <laughs> clutching an egg. <laughs> Never hatched. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a very wild-looking griffin sitting there. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's been a couple of minutes to you. Yeah, that, that's passed in there. Yep. Myla has like sat down cross-legged on the floor, and is going like, "Follow Saskia. Don't listen to the crack. Follow Saskia. Don't listen to the crack." Follow Saskia? Saskia? No answer. But the... Uh, I wish I didn't have you. This would be so much easier if I wasn't looking after an egg. I don't want to break you or hurt you. I don't know what going in there is going to do to you, and I don't know what going through that's going to do to you, and I don't know where Saskia is, and I don't know where anyone else is, and it's really dark in here. Is the portal like, can you go around the other sides of the, like, yep. can you go? She's gonna hop up and go like around the side. Cool. Nothing happens. You look through, it still looks normal on the other side. I'm not gonna lie to you, Egg. I was kind of hoping she might be here. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else like on the other side of it? More, more Alwyn, more Sylvan writing. Okay. And just long things. script. All, all very eloquent, all very nice. It's not like mad scratchings at all. It's very... Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there eloquent, guess, yeah. any rocks or anything I can get a hold of? Any rocks? Uh-huh. Um, no rocks, but if you look around, you might be able to find some plants you can pick up and throw through. Okay. Yeah. Let's throw a plant through first. Sure. So you look around, there's like a small, nice bunch of tulips mm -hmm. next to your leg. Um, so you pluck that, you throw it through. Yeah. Yep. Goes through. Vanishes? Just Vanishes. goes straight through. Yep. Straight through. Vanishes. Okay. Doesn't appear on the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up another one and throw it at the blue crack. <laughs> okay. So you throw it at the blue crack, mm -hmm. lands on top of the blue crack, and you watch as it ages, decomposes, and rots away in the blink of an eye in real time. Don't go to the blue crack. Got it. Okay. Um, you look around the edge, and you notice plants are growing all the time, and a lot of them are growing around the blue crack, and you're watching them grow and die in real time and reset over and over and over. All that. It's like a garden growing and dying, passing seasons intently in front of you. Blue crack. Bad. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
Okay. You also see, sticking out of the blue crack, a couple of long-stemmed clover just hanging, swaying a little bit, and a non-existent breeze just... Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, can I find anything that I'd be able to scratch a message somewhere with? Um, there, there's some stonework you could definitely there's some carve with could a dagger yeah. or something into Like yeah. near the portal thing, preferably. How, how, how long? How long are you taking to do all this? I'm willing to take like a, a little bit of time. Because I'm waiting to see number. if she can come I need, back. I need a specific number. At least an hour. Okay. <laughs> um, and she's going to scratch um, Saskia, Myla, plus Egg in here. <laughs> uh, blue crack. Bad. <laughs> As you're finishing, as you're typing in the yeah. D on bad, yeah. you look up and Saskia comes running through the portal <gasps> side. Hey! 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 Hold on. Aww. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Saskia looks up and you feel fine. To you, it was instant. Yeah. Oh, so to me, I've just jumped through. You jumped through. Yeah. However, your hair is much longer. The blonde streak is like come straight, like it's like a full curtain down around your face. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit taller. Sick, she grew. <laughs> uh, hi. And she looks just a bit older. Hi. You right? You you were gone a while. I literally just jumped through. No. You saw me do that. No, Bam. I <laughs> two lips hit you in the back of the head. Ow! <laughs> Jesus. Did you throw these? Yes. I also can't, had time to carve this. Hmm. And the tulips are still normal? They've grown into a giant bouquet. What started like a few flowers is just like a wedding arrangement almost of flowers. Like a full bushel has flown in. I only threw in like four, but like hardly mm. any. If you had feelings for your baby, you should have just said. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? That's, is that a human thing? It. <laughs> Just figure less of anything. Okay. Okay. Puts the flowers down. What are you? What are you? What are you scratching? I was trying to. I was going to go in after you because you were gone for ages, and so I thought I will leave a message in case the others come through so that they know where we went. The blue crack ages things super fast. Like, watch. I'm going to grab the bouquet of. Flowers and throw it at like it. The giant, the giant like oh, yeah. it's done, it's done. <laughs> and it lands, and you watch as it grows and then just slowly all rots away. It doesn't form the vent, just it's almost like someone put fast forward on time, you're watching it just like creep into itself until yeah. it rotches away. That happens. Damn. But also But also another clover grows out and just sways and sits. What does a clover look like? Like a like like a like a four-leaf clover. Like a, oh okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um But also Wait, is that a four-leaf clover? They're lucky, right? Or is that a three-leaf? Maybe not in this case. It's actually case. got one has three, one has five. We need the one with the four. I, um, I... The, it's like calling me in. Uh, then and, I... Is it doing that to you? No. Oh. No, no. I That that looks bad to me. It does, doesn't it? It does. I, I said it looked bad. Yeah. Did, did you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, blue crack. Ba ba. Oh, the, it was, I was finishing the blue. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I mean, if that's your destiny, babe, you crack on. But uh, I'll take the egg from you. Oh, yes. 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 There you go. Hey, baby. We became good friends. Yes. It was the. You only... haven't named it yet, though, right? No. I wanted to name it. Egg. I called it egg. Um, you were gone for a while. Maybe. Um, what's it called? Presumably like an hour and a half ish? Uh just over an hour. Just over an hour. Just over an hour? Oh wow. Does that mean you hair? Ish. Well yeah, it's um I can whip it back and forth. <laughs> yeah. That's game. I yeah. Are you okay? Are you feeling okay? You feel great. You feel fine? Do I look okay? Yeah, you just look a bit like older. Oh. A little cool. bit. It's my oh my babe's grew as well. Sick. <laughs> Um, what should we do? Can we, oh, do you want to try, try and get out? back through there again. What if I went in the other way? I'll go the other way. I'll go in backwards. <laughs> take the egg. 
Uh, oh. Take the egg. Okay. <laughs> You going I'm going to go back through the portal. Oh. As in round the edge. As in round, round the back and then go through that way. Okay. Okay, cool. Sure. Do, 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 do. See you in a bit. Bye. Disappears. Sick. It's just you again. <laughs> An egg. Nobody knows. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I'll start drawing stuff. <laughs> with this rock. What would you like to draw, Egg? I think <laughs> we'll draw a picture of the group <laughs> and you. You're part of the group. And we can put pine stuff in there. This is like the most terrible drawing. It's like literally just like stick figures. <laughs> <laughs> Except like one of them's got like a little thing outside of its head as if it's like a pot with like a moustache. <laughs> and like... <laughs> I need it. That's, that's great. She's just going to start just doing that. Like, and um, let's do this person. Yeah, she's just doodling. Just doodling. Yeah, weighing. Passing the time. Three hours go by. Oh no! Mm. Sasuke appears again. Your hair is shorter. Oh. You've shrunk a little bit. Oh. Your boots got smaller. <laughs> oh. You are, for all intents and purposes, reversed whatever just happened before. Don't do that one again. Don't do that one again. That was ages. That was the, like a long time. I ran out of people to draw. I, I don't do that again. You grew. No, you got smaller. Oh. Egg. Thanks. No. I don't do that again. Okay. You three, finally, what feels like only a couple of minutes, you walk in. You see Saskia. You are my son. Saskia. <laughs> and you see, a, a, not a deranged, but quite a stressed looking Myla. Holding a rock. Holding a rock. <laughs> so just to clarify, we've walked in to find someone singing to an egg and someone clearly deranged holding a rock. <laughs> That's exactly right. The first. How old does Saskia look? Like, Normal. is there now a 12 as you, year old? As you remember her. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The first thing that's really good. All right, well, they've clearly, it's clearly been years because yeah. they've obviously both gone insane. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you're here. Oh, yeah. Don't so go near you. that. Don't go through the portal. Don't, just don't. Are you all right? I waited for hours. It's only been about an hour and a half. Oh, <laughs> it hasn't. All right, so by my understanding, the time here isn't quite working in a linear fashion. So, um, right, so what, walk me through everything. What's happening? Okay, if you walk through that arch right. this way, yep. takes about an hour, All and right. you come back and you're a bit older. If you go through the other way, it takes way longer, like three times that much, and you come back younger again. Oh, and anything that goes near that blue crack dies or like gets really old, grows really fast, dies, and then a clover turns up. Also, it's calling to me. Anything. So what, what have you what have you put near there? Flowers. May I borrow your rock? Of course. Uh, Alexi's gonna take the rock mm -hmm. and just at the blue crack. Cool. So it lands, clatters on the front, and flowers rock quite quickly. You get to watch, and it takes a little bit longer, but slowly, the rock just seems to sort of like erode and shrink. And, s and over like a few minutes, eventually turns to dust and disappears. Myla's going to look at you and then just point to where she's written Blue Crack Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was curious if it would be. Which I need to point out is not overgrown with plants and moss in that time as well. That's right, it's great for <laughs> I was curious if it was uh, simply living matter or if non-living matter would have a different uh, re reaction. We should leave. You'd be so proud of me. I conducted the experiments. I threw flowers at the blue crack. I threw flowers through where Saskia went and vanished. I paid attention. I did experiments. I did science. Uh, yes, <laughs> you wrote it down. That makes it science. Otherwise, you're just messing around. Well done. Very proud of you. Right. Um... Okay, we, we, we need to leave because time dilation is it's incredibly dangerous. How do we leave? I'm not sure we can leave. We can try to put egg on portal. Oh. Put egg on blue crack. 
Oh, um... That would destroy it, I'm almost entirely certain. Uh, I, and neither of you have been near the the, the crack. Uh Uh-uh. Right. Uh, I strongly advise that none of us do. And I don't think we want to hatch the griffin, do we? I mean, I kind of do, but it doesn't seem like a responsible thing to do. We should reunite it with its parents. I feel like oh, yeah, I am you're all now alive. Good work. Cameron's. What happened to the griffin? It is with Nada. Oh, cool. It was um, injured sufficiently, oh, and I was trying to stop it from running it down. Can I keep it? No, 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 no it, 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 it has Can I keep it? Uh, can I keep it? <sighs> we should keep it and make it grow, then sell money and split money no. between us all. <laughs> I think that it would be a fantastic addition, but it does have a family and we can't take anything against its I will. I could be its family. I could be its family too, but it has one. We're not going to take things away. You're fine. How I... old are you? 17. She doesn't know at this point. <laughs> no, no bloody idea. <laughs> right. It's becoming apparent. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like to examine this gateway in great detail. <laughs> sure. Uh, how are you going about it? Uh, basically, is going to look, kind of look all up and down the um, archway mm-hmm. thing, uh, see if there is anything in particular. I know it's probably just this is just something that Alexi would be doing. I know it's just Sylvan writing on it, isn't it? Yep. Uh, would I identify as Sylvan? Uh, make a history check or an Arcana check. I will take. Oh, I can do them both. Um, let's we go. We can do one. <laughs> I see nice proficiency in both. Okay, right. Uh, I will. You know what? Let's do Arcana for funsies. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. So, wow. Well done. Uh, nice. So, with that, you you read the writing, um, and you recognise it. You, you've picked this up in a few in a few sort of books. Um, you recognise elements of chronology. You recognise recognise elements of divination. Um, you also recognise the same language used when they experimented with plane shift spells. Um, with the 23, you'd also know plane shifting hasn't been a thing in a very, very, very long time. Like, unheard of. It just doesn't doesn't go down. Um, but reading through, and I'm sure with Mayway's help as well, you could recognise the Sylvan. It should be conscripted very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you would talk about, you'd recognise this as a treaty, as a recognition. Um, and this portal acted um, as a, a symbol of peace between the Fae and the material planes and was used as a gateway. Um, between for elves a long, long, long time ago when they come here to visit when this was a city a long time ago. Um, and there's one, and the name of the city is listed at the bottom, um, which was Anvelian. City of Sun. Saskia. Make a general investigation check, just to see your current state. Yes. 13. So you, you know, you, you, you look over yourself and, you know, you've shrunk a bit, but you seem to have gotten even younger than you were before. You're feeling a little prepubescent. And anyone looking, she looks relatively normal, but younger. You've lost three years, so you're now 14. Okay. How close is Alexi to the portal? I mean, I'm right in its face. Right in its face. I'm going to kick him in. (laughs) Make a stealth check to sneak up behind. I can have your passive perception too, David. Uh, 10. Natural 20 plus 4, 24. (laughs) (laughs) Let's be honest, I'm going. You you see a really interesting bit and Saskia walks up behind you. Puts her boot on your ass and you're stretched through the pool. Okay. <laughs> oh, my, where? Why would you do that? It's gonna be gone for an hour now. Yeah. You probably need to go back through there. How? Oh. Get... Whoa. May I? No. Oh, no. I, I can babysit. No. You love going through the arch. No. You love leaving the egg with me and going through the arch. Yeah. There we go. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Come on. And I'll shove her. Which Someone way are you going through? Me. This is really no, important. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm going. Fucking, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going that way. All right. <laughs> Saskia goes through. Yep. All right. You two are staying. Yeah, no, don't, don't worry. Don't go anywhere. How old are you? 
No idea? I was just checking how fu- what effect that might have. No. One, one note here. So, you've gone through. You've gone through. How long are you guys going to wait? However long it takes them to pop mm. back out. Okay. Can I um, send my hat through? You want to send your saucepan through? Mm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. You want? Oh my god, it's like a really big like pot. How are you doing it? This is really important. Are you throwing it? Are you sliding it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So gonna... once again, yeah, I'm just going just gonna, to um, <laughs> crank it off and the little uh, whirring underneath. Just because it lifts it up, mm-hmm. zzzz, and you can kind of see the front bit, the front handle bit, kind of, and just goes, just go straight through. Just like that. Through. straight through. Exactly. Cool. Flies through. Nothing I've happens. never seen you without your saucepan. I didn't know it could come off. Mm. There's lots about me you don't know yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So That's... you have at least an hour to kill. Does anyone want to look at anything while we wait, or we can fast forward if you'd like? The stuff that you read, where was that? Did you say there was some stuff on there? Was there's there's writing all around the box, along the wall, the wall and the back. All of that's, yeah. that's, that's been examined, okay. Yeah. Mayway is still looking at it. There's still the Just... vent, there's still the clover swinging out around it. Do we know anything about Anvelian? Make a history check. Nineteen. Nineteen. You've, you've heard of it. It's, it's mentioned in old Wood Elf songs and like it's a city. It was once one of the great capital cities of Wood Elves. And as far as you know, it predates almost every bit of modern history, including the Val and the Snow Elves itself. But you don't hear much about it. It's been around a long time. Or this is was. older than, you know, the Val. Yeah. Which I'm, is I'm getting very, there. very old in your, in your experience. Yep. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, and if they keep going through the arch, they'll be older than the Val soon. Oh no! <laughs> the two humans. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to push him back the other way. If you said that, that it could makes take them younger. Weeks to come back. Mm. Yeah, just Alexi might be an old man by the time he comes back. Oh. How Alexi old is he now? Might be dead. Oh, he's oh. he's he's around in his late twenties, thirties, maybe something oh, like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. It should be fine. But I don't. I, how long do they stay there? Uh, the first time, about an hour. The right. second time, three times as long. All right. Let, let's see if that changes. How, how do you think they go into the Fey realm? Like, if there's. I don't know. I don't. This there's is a bit. Way to find out. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Could I shuffle over and examine the clover, please? Just, just from a for safe, absolutely from a safe, dis- oh, from a safe distance. Yeah. I just want to shuffle over as close as I can. So, tip, please describe how you're approaching. Okay. Um, it's very important. So you said this, the, the clover itself is sprouting so the, so, out of the blue. So the, the vents about it's about five feet across and about fifteen. It's like jagged and like there's little bits and particles sort of coming out. And it's quite nice to look at. It's quite mesmerising. Mm-hmm. And the clover is sticking out from the top. And there were plants all around, growing up around and they die instantly almost like a garden growing around them. But it's just there, just pulsing and doing its thing. I'm just I'm going to just I'm gonna walk up to it. Yeah. But I'm no part of my body is is is, is touching any of the the, 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 right. the, the, the plant itself. Once you get within um, about five feet um, the clover that were quite fluid and gently swaying all suddenly become rigid and erect. <laughs> None of us even packed that yeah. time. Yeah. None of us even packed that No, no, I looked in Guy's eyes and he... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it. I felt it. Oh, don't, don't talk. You, you oh, found the erection in the erection. Nice. <laughs> All right. But they, they become aware of your presence and they stand and they face you. Clovers open out and there's one with three leaves, one with five, and a smaller one at the bottom with two. Just watching you, almost. That's amazing. What would you like to do? Can I move? I'm gonna just move. You want like match its movement? Exactly. See yeah. if it tra- See if it. See they're, if there's any. All three of... of them are tracking you like completely, perfectly in sync. Um. I detect this clover has unusual matching capabilities. What? It feels to. It seems to know my presence. Look. Oh. 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 Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that is strange. They are quite how you say erect. That is a way that you could describe that, yes. <laughs> you said it. I did. <laughs> All on you. Um, what would you like to do? 
I'm gonna touch him, I'm not gonna touch him. Uh. <laughs> touch, touch my erect palm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't play this game and not, and not touch your erect plant. It just has to be done. Yeah. Jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my route. All right. I'm gonna grab your route. <laughs> okay. So, how are you going about this? With, with my crossbow arm. Okay. The, 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 the replacement <laughs> arm is just going to go out because I, I, I can, I can sensorily kind of it might, might make sense of things sure. with it too, but it can also detach if need be. But I can, so I'm just. Just gonna touch it to see if, uh, yeah, if that changes any of its Which one are you touching? Does anything. The five or the three? Or the two? The three. Cool, so you reach out, and it, as you get close, it, it trembles a little bit. And as you bump with the crossbow, <laughs> the moment you make contact, it just disappears in there. The other two still there. This seems dangerous. Maybe we could wait to touch them until everyone else is back. Part of me wants to touch it, but I feel that bad consequences might happen if I go ahead and do so. I'm worried about that too, and I don't want us to have to run away and leave people behind. Should we write it down? Write what down? That the clover disappeared. Alexi said it was real science then. Uh, all right. It's been about 20 minutes, by the way, just so we keep track of time. Um, yeah, you can you can write that down if you want. I, I don't have any paper. <laughs> Just getting her rock out. I had, like. I had an idea though. Huh? What do you think would happen if I put one of the Rylanthium rocks through the agent doorway? It would come back. Yeah. You said the flowers were bigger. They were bigger because they grew. What if the rock grows? It might happen. It might. We have to wait for ages, though. They grow when we plant them at home. Yeah. So maybe have to it wait a long time. Something. Also, it might hit one of them on the back of the head. It I sounds wouldn't. like a great idea. I wouldn't throw. I wouldn't throw it. I think you should throw it. I could slide it through. Perhaps you could go with it. I suppose I could, but... Hmm. Then you'd be waiting even longer for me. I think we should try and figure out how to get out of here. Just walk back the way we came. And I turn, is it still? Yeah, you can see the way out. That way. <laughs> we can't, right? I can never see. said you could have. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> never, never said that. I said the route's closed behind you, but you weren't, right. you weren't blocked out. Yeah, I thought wasn't... we entered the... Yeah, I thought we were trapped. Um, <laughs> it's been so crazy. <laughs> <It's been there. laughs> yeah. Could have bloody left. <laughs> and there was just the entrance right there. <laughs> just like, nope, can't possibly use that. Been there for six hours, didn't think to turn around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Probably a good thing you didn't, would have been. I thought fine. you got trapped when Pine Stub died. Pine and Stub then, died? No, out of character. <laughs> out of character. I thought you got trapped when he died, right. and then when he was reborn, the gateway opened. opened up. Yeah, that's what I assumed. Yeah. But turns out, <laughs> Myla's just an idiot. Slash Sasha. So just 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 to bring it back to to in, in character situation stuff. So D twenty two. What are you doing about the other clover? Whilst they're having this conversation, mm -hmm. um, and I touched the one, touched the five leafed one with your hand or with your crossbow. With my crossbow. Okay. Now you're trying to make a grab for it, or are you just trying to? It, if I'm, it? it's it's more of a, it's more of a touch. I'm not trying to grab it. I just want to. I just want to make skin, not skin on skin, but the equivalent. Uh, kind like of a protect. Product. Cool. So same thing Fuck. again. You reach out, and the moment it brushes, <laughs> disappears in the bin. Unseen. Doesn't come back. It's gone. For science, we're just going to touch the small one as well. Can I change my hand? For science. And can I use my my right hand and go to touch the same five leaf? Is this? It's is gone. This, after, okay. Oh, it's disappeared away. The moment you touch with your crossbow, back. what I will say, I'll allow, uh, make a deck save. It's a high DC, but if you roll high enough, I will I will let you get get this with your other hands. Oh my god. Ooh. Yes, it's a dirty 21. So, you're a bit quicker this time. And as you swiftly do the one, two, your hand flies out and grabs it, and you've got the stem near the bottom. And you can feel your arm and you're watching it age in front of you. What would you like to do? Let go. Just let go? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Go on. 
I appear to have buggered up my arm on this vine. Yeah, I, I did say makes you get old. Perhaps, well, I suppose Wayne wouldn't have done much to that. Um, oh God, how do we fix that? It appears to be squeaking a lot <laughs> and could fall off. Can we get you a new arm? Perhaps when we are done here, you should have advised me not to touch. I, I was, I did, I did. If you remember, I said to wait. I will admit I did not. I said it was bad, but I kind of wanted to see what happened. <laughs> and on that note, I slide around at the crystal through the portal. How do you do it? Uh, on the floor. <laughs> cool. So with the sake of brevity, um, after after an hour, Alexi stumbles through and falls down on the ground in front. Long mop of hair, much longer than what, what he had. Uh, what felt like a couple of minutes ago. Ugh, it took bloody forever to have it in the... Alexi, make a concept. Oh no. Oh no. She's not back yet. 13. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Knew oh. this was coming. We're going to be feeding him applesauce. <laughs> Roll a D100. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, what? D100. Yeah. It's going to be these two. It means it's a D100. Something's not right. Turns out by the... 44. 30. Oh, 30. Oh. Okay. We'll show you something later. Um, Is that how good. old you are? No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Alexi collapses. His hair is white at the roots. Oh! All right, grab his legs, grab his breathing. legs! Uh, he is not breathing. Alexi, you are exhausted. Your HP is halved. And you cannot move. You have a five levels of exhaustion. And we're going to take a break right there. <laughs> Cool, great. Thank you very much. Uh, cool, we'll be back in a minute. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna decompress on that and uh, see what happens. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Thanks very much. <laughs> Alexi. <laughs> So when we left our adventurers, um, they headed go. into what appeared to be an old Fey temple. Um, after sending the griffin back with Nata, they found a guardian of the forest in the way of pine stuff. Um, a large treant who appears to be growing and changing quite quickly in given time. Um, he revealed the entrance to a temple and our heroes went inside. Uh, first was uh, Myla and Saskia running through where they found an old, an old portal which appeared to send people backwards or forwards through time. No one's really quite sure. And a small crack in the ground where temporal shifts seem to be changing and plants growing around. Um, the rest of the party eventually caught up, looking through and investigating. And uh, while searching through, Alexi was 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 investigating the portal until Saskia, who'd been de-aged a few years, decided it'd be really funny to sneak up behind and kick Alexi through the portal. Um, not knowing the consequences of, of her actions, however, Alexi stumbled out an hour passing for the party, a year passing for Alexi, immediately came out looking pale, gaunt, and immediately collapsed on the ground, exhausted and unconscious. And here we go. Alexi, you are passed out. Is He's that... 
Is Saskia back yet? Oh. Um, um, if I cast Healing Word, is that the sort of thing that like bring him, bring him back? You can try. All right. Oh, sorry. One other thing. Uh, when Alexi stepped through, the rapier would have, as he fell, clattered out of his hand, and you would have seen the lightning immediately just poof, away from it. Um, Alexi does okay, not yeah, seem I... well. No, he doesn't. Do you want to help me with him? I will just immediately be like, yeah. um, Alexi, get... Get get up and cast healing word. Cool. Like a little bit of icy breath comes from him, breathes into his lungs, and he heaves. Nothing happens. I'm having an impulsive thought. I can I'm do it again. An impulsive thought. Perhaps we push him through the other side. Usually, Alexi tells me if it's a bad idea to do things. I don't know. I I can. Uh... I can try again. I try, if you wanna. I, uh, have no knowings of the workings of magic. I. Uh, I <laughs> um, I'll I'll just do it again. Just cast healing word again. Go for it. <clears throat> Anything. Same thing. Breathes in. He heaves for a second. <clears throat> Nothing happens. All right, we gotta try. I, we don't know what else to do. Okay. Okay. And and they said you said that she came out older and then younger? Yeah. So we gotta try. Okay. I, I don't understand how he's gotten this much older. He looks more than one year older than before based he, on human. He really does. He and doesn't look well. I'm I'm wondering how much I know about my new friend. Do you have any more potions or anything? I have one. It won't do much more than what you've managed. Meanwhile, Saskia, what were you doing this time three years ago when you were 14? As you're sort of in this liminal space, oh. flashes come across your mind. What, what were you experiencing at that point? Um, misery in the village, somewhere that I felt like I didn't belong. Always getting picked on by my younger siblings. Kind of like people just wanted to like, like play. They could see that I was something a little bit different to them. So. It wasn't a great life when I was a teenager. Um, I sort of, yeah, I'd, I kind of keep myself to myself in the village and I'd often go into the woods near home just to kind of be at peace. You you sort of step and as you went through the second time, you felt yourself being dragged back to that point. And what's not I want to convey about watching your life flash in reverse and feeling yourself change at the same time and seeing the places where you, where you grew up, seeing your friend and, and the copper dragonborn that taught you how to hunt and how mm -hmm, to fight, mm -hmm. seeing arguments with your family and falling out that with fucking lizard boy as well, prick. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't the best, but seeing like your first kill, your first day, being so proud and your family sort of just dismissing you and then landing suddenly on that one spot back home and you for a moment your seventeen year old self looks at your fourteen year old self and then you're yanked back again and thrown back on through going up and suddenly it stops. You realize you caught up the current time, it's just this vast expanse as you're swimming sort of through, and you see for yourself growing and changing, and your hair gets longer and you get taller and a little bit stronger. It seems to go on for a long time. A long time. I'll come back to you. What are you guys doing? Help me with him. Uh, okay. And we grab okay. Alexi and He's, he weighs nothing. There is nothing but bone and skin and sinew. He's he's oh. might as well be a skeleton. He is a sickly, pale, that sweaty ribs underneath his disquieting. armor. The deep V looks sad. It's it's <laughs> not good. It's not the deep V. It's a deep U. It's all floppy. Oh, we we will restore deep every. <laughs> <laughs> we will restore. We 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 gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay. 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 Yeah. I mean, yeah. And and is there enough room or is it like shoving? Oh no, there's enough room. Like you, you could walk around the portal and it's quite easy for you right. to get around and push from the other side. From the other side. We're, we're sorry, Alexi. We hope this works. Make a perception check. It's disadvantage. Just to see if anything gets through. Uh, six. He falls through. Sort of just flops. Falls in. Where were you three years ago? You in, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, 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 no. You go first. You go first. Uh, Alexi would have been in the family library. Actually, no, no, he wouldn't have been 
three years ago, Alexi was probably having a, being, undergoing a very stern talking to by his older sister and essentially being warned off studying as he is doing. Now, I have to say, Alexi, if you don't start picking up what you're meant to do, well, you've seen what we've been doing to the farmers lately. We wouldn't have to put you on cousin duty now. Pick up your act. I'm going to have to talk to Father about this. No, oh, Father is busy fucking whatever whore he can find in Garen Springs. Must we, Leandra, must we really go through this again? It's... We must go through whatever we must go through. We're here for a purpose, are we not? Do you want to earn that cloak? That brand, you walk around like you own the place, and yet you do nothing for the rest of us. You nose in a book. Look at you, you could be great, and yet you throw these away like it's nothing. I'm not throwing anything You throw away. this away by dragging our name through the mud. They are beneath you. You have not, for a single second in your entire life, thought about what we can achieve if only we apply ourselves. We have achieved plenty, and she gestures at like this large tapestry in the back and curtains. Look at this lineage, look at what we've carried. Look out across this building, this land we have. And How can you speak like this? Empires fall, Leah. This, this, we could do so much more. This is not an empire, this is a cabal. You see no castles and armies we control from the back. We have the backing of the Raven Queen herself. Now why do you think that is? Brother. Whatever arrangements our ancestors made long ago is nothing to do with me. I am simply studying how to enhance what we already have. You cannot enhance perfection, brother. It is not perfection. Do not be so fucking blind. She backhands you. <laughs> ah, one word. Not one word. The fuck out of my sight. She turns and she walks away and opens the doors and you hear the joyful noise of a party and celebration and socialising carrying on. Hello, dearest! And the doors close and you're alone. And you look and you see yourself gaunt, ribs stricken, white. And you share a glance for a second and suddenly you feel yourself yanked. Same through time, watching the last three years of your life play out in front of you and fast forward until suddenly <laughs> you spill out. On your knees, Alexia appears three hours later for the rest of you, not you yet. Breathing, younger, his hair pulled back, seething with rage. Alexia. A red handprint on his cheek. What the fuck? just happened to me. Oh, Alexei. Oh, and I like kneel down next to him, put my hand on his shoulder. His head is just lowered and staring at the ground. Alexei, oh God, Saskia pushed you through. She, she's not here right now. She, she, we pushed her through after she pushed you through. Are you okay? Are you okay? Do I look okay? You look far more okay than you were when you first came out of there. He glares at you. His eyes are blood red. Why on earth do you have a fucking child doing such stupidity that none of you for a second thought to stop or warn me off? We were standing next to each other, honey, and she came with us the same way that we all ended up together. Where is she? We don't know. She's in the portal still. And when she emerges, the silly little human girl will answer for what she has done. You're not human yourself, honey? You're looking a little bit bloodshot in the eye area. Part of the magic side effect happens when I get angry. So, what are we still doing here? 
We're waiting. And you need to take a moment to calm down. I will calm when I've spoken with the girl. Hmm. My hat is also on its way out. <laughs> I take one step to the side. <laughs> Sidebar. Sorry. Also right. a rock. Yes. The Rylinthium crystal, after an hour, comes out. And what was a nice refined shard. Uh, quick question. It come, which bag did it come from? Mine. Yours. After it came out, it is grown and raw, and it's a large stack of crystals that are sort of crisscrossed and all kind of... And it bounces and rolls out and stops at the front of... Raw, raw rylanthium growing off a refined crystal. Interesting. Um, uh, sorry, to sorry. Say, so the saucepan <laughs> comes out, immediately comes out, stops, clanks, rusted, aged, withered, no longer flying. Oh man. <laughs> My um, why don't we go wait outside? This place is kind of dark and, and horrible, and you must be feeling. I can't imagine what you're feeling, so should we go wait outside? I feel like I almost died. Yeah. We have you, honey. This is part of this. This is part of adventure. Almost dying to your so-called allies is part of adventuring. It happens sometimes. My pan head also became quite rusty. I think let's, I might know how you feel, mate. Let's go outside. Let's. That's really fascinating. You wait for, for Saskia and we'll we'll go outside. And in the so, still pitch black inside, more or less, isn't it? It's it's dark, yeah. Like there's a there's a soft there's a dim yeah. light coming from from the crack in the ground, but nothing else beyond that. Uh, Alexi just walks straight at the uh, path out. So you're just walking right out? Yeah, just going straight out. Cool. Cool. My is with him as well. Cool. Yeah. Two out. Who else? I'm bringing with you. We're, we're going to wait for Saskia. I'm going to wait for Saskia. My intuition tells me that he might kill her when she comes out. I'm uh, not going to lie. I wouldn't have thought he'd had it in him, but I've never seen him like that before. I'm a little worried for her myself. We won't let that happen, though. Who do we fight? No one. Fighting doesn't solve anything. Kindness is how we're going to solve this. Understanding and discussion. Oh, what am I saying? The, b- between the two of them, she's definitely not going to back down from a fight. Uh, let's see what happens. Who will you pick to defend? I will stand in the middle and stop both of them from fighting. That is called sitting on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I have come from a place of neutrality. I've done enough fighting in my time to know that it doesn't actually solve anything. I will so, sit on fence with you. Thanks, Dee. Okay, uh, so... my arm through his in the companion plan. So you two are hanging together. Waiting for that. And you mm-hmm. two are going outside the court. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Sorry about your part. So, you two. Yeah. You're walking down the hallway. You walk. It feels like a few minutes. As you two watch. They seem to be walking on the spot. Just walking and walking and as you two wait, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours, after nine hours, Saskia stumbles out of the portal. What was on the cusp of woman head, I believe, as you described. <laughs> a fully grown adolescent adult woman, hair down past her ankles at this point. What? The long streak. Taller again, broadened. Your boobs have grown again. <laughs> yes. You have aged nine years, making you now 23. Oh, nine years, okay. You're from the 14. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, sick. And you step out and you see D22 and Mayway waiting for you. And if you look in the distance, you see Alexi and Milo walking on the spot in the distance out the, out the gate. Saskia. Oh, hey guys. God, that was a trip. Oh, my. This does not appear to be Saskia. It, uh... What on earth? How much oh. hair do you have now, honey? Damn. Oh, 
Well, I'm not. You haven't got a hair band, have you? Um, I, I you suppose. You've got a hair band? It's getting in. Kind of getting uh, in the, the I pull, reach into my pocket and pull out red piece of oh. ribbon. That's why I used to do my hair. Um, oh. You look older. Yeah, I feel, feel older. Um, honey, do you remember what happened before you went through that portal again? <sighs> it, it felt like five, ten minutes for you to talk. Yeah. Crikey. I, you, kicked body. Like, you, licked, you kicked Alex. You kicked Alex through the portal. Yeah. He, oh, I did he is not happy. No? No. No. Is he okay? Wait, he, he is now, but okay. he did die, I think. Uh, he did die, I, I think. How would he have died? We, he we came back look, like... He looked like he passed out about a hundred years. Ooh. And we uh, threw him through the other side. Oh. To try and save his life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. I would calculate there might be a 67.6% chance of him wanting to kill you. Yeah. But he's okay now? Like, he's grand? Is he younger than he was before? Ah, uh, well, I don't really know. Is the B deeper? <laughs> <laughs> Is the B deeper? Can it get any deeper? I, uh, <laughs> he looked slightly younger with red eyes. And Ooh. much angrier. Red. Ah. Oh. He said he was human, right? I thought so as well. He said mm. it was a side effect, but now mm. I'm wondering. Sounds fibbing. I'm wondering about that. Great. Oh, uh, whoa. Wait. What? Egg? Oh, God. Uh, who, who has the egg? Egg? I believe, I believe Mila had the egg. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I'll give it yeah. So, where's the egg? Is, is the egg okay? The egg's yeah, fine? I'm, I haven't hatched yet? Yeah. No. Oh. No. I don't want to miss the birth. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I feel great. Uh, that might change. Do uh, we go outside for the fight oh, now? Or... <laughs> this is, yeah, I feel All right, here, honey, honey, please. I know it's your way to mm. be willful and forceful, mm -hmm. but I would appreciate it if we did our best to avoid a heavy conflict here. Maybe you could say you're sorry. Oh. That word, sorry. So, you kicked someone through a portal. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. He seemed most distressed. Yeah, he did. But he's younger now, so I, surely he should well, feel... We, I, we don't really know if he's younger mm. than he was when you kicked him in. And okay. he has never left home before about six months ago mm -hmm. and this is the first instance of a, a an ally, ally. An, mm -hmm. an ally uh potentially killing him that was not my intention maybe we can not start that's intention. where we can start the next sure. conversation okay great shall we sure who do you think will win i'm not there of course <laughs> <laughs> I say to love to answer. Shall we do 22? <laughs> Shall we? Yes. Just one, one, one question. In the other five hours of you were waiting, did you want to look at the last clover or did you want to look at it? He, he asked about it before. Okay. That's a fair question. Yeah. Um, I'm got, I'm got, we've got enough to stew over. I'm going to make those clovers. Good, yeah. good as gold. Right. So you, the three of you, arm and arm or just... I'm going to put me and D22 in front of Saskia. Cool. So you, you guys go, and you can still see Myla and Alexi walking. Alexi's still got a bit of a huff in his, in his stride and he's, he's clearly over. A bit of a huff, yeah. <laughs> but for you, it feels like a couple of minutes. Walking up, get to the roots. As soon as you arrive, they pull away. You step out. And as soon as you guys get close to them, you catch up quite quickly. And it feels like they weren't waiting that long. And catch up to you. So Let's... as soon as you turned and walked out, you suddenly realised that they away in D22, and just behind is a taller-looking Saskia. As you reach the edge, you walk out into the clearing. It's snowing. It is the middle of a thick blizzard. Ice covers the entire plain. <laughs> It is the middle of the night. There are clouds and wind everywhere. What would you like to do? 
Oh, this is lovely. And oh. Myla is going to see that they're kind of coming up behind and just like kind of try and gently take Alexi's arm and just be like, let's just, let's keep going a little, a little, let's, let's. Yeah, just... he's still <laughs> just walking and facing the trees, not looking behind. Yeah, cool. Myla's just going to kind of keep trying to like move him away a little bit from from these guys. Um, it, it's cold. Are you cold? No. Me Ooh. neither. But I'm quite used to this. Yes, so am I. It's coming down. <laughs> Feels like home. Um, let's... Do you know how to make camp in the snow? No. I do. I can show you. Help me? Just stands there. Or not. It's up to you. But it might feel good to do something. Yes, it would. So, um, Myla's gonna start, like, sort of building, like, a little kind of bank of snow, like, to sort of dig yeah. into it a little bit to kind of give them a little bit of, like, shelter. Right. Um, and generally sort of just, yeah, starting that up might strike a torch so that you've got some nice, like, fire to huddle around. But she's just, yeah, she's doing a thing. This is her element. Cool. She's all good. Um, cool. yeah. You, just, just for the reference, you, you feel completely fine now as far as health and everything else goes, so you're back to normal. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so just no stress. Thanks very much. No worries. Cool. You come out, a couple of seconds behind, you see, uh, Myla making, making the shelter. I was about to yeah, say Sasuke. Two yeah, two snow elves yeah. with M names. No, it was, it's, it's, it's oh, Sasha and Sasuke that yeah, catch that's the catch the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You see Myla building and you see Elixir fuming slash sulking to the side, just sort of watching with a small little fire in his hand and a jar, just all right. looking at everyone. Should, should we all go or should should I try and speak to him? I start <laughs> running on the spot to keep warm. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, Milo. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do it. My saucepan got rusty through the clove. Yeah. Um, give us a while. I'm building a... You build a snow shelter as well. Like, maybe you should know what you're doing, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I can handle myself cool, in this. Cool, cool. Let's set up some shelter. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be a minute. Everything all right? Yeah. I say in well, Elvish. no. <laughs> okay, in Elvish. <laughs> it's like, well... I mean... Alexi responds in Elvish. <laughs> no, it is most certainly not fucking all right. Yeah, that, that. Uh, it's okay. Well... Um, Myla will sort of sit down heavily. So you speak Elvish? Yes. Huh. You didn't say before. No one asked. That's fair. Do you speak I anything else? Yes. For everyone. What else do you speak? I begin making shelter as well. I can say a few phrases in Dwarven. Uh, I understand a little. Celestial, not much. Hello, maybe, or at least it's, it's a strange language. Uh-huh. Yeah, I I speak obviously Elvish. Be a bit weird if I didn't. Very. Um, and a bit of halfling. We trade with them sometimes. Can I help in any way? Are you building shelter? Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, okay, so we're gonna just What yeah. Go down and make it nice. What are you feeling right now? Anger. Okay. More than that. You know, I have left I've been travelling for half a year. And in that half a year I did not really converse with many other people, namely because I find that people can be a little uh, hot-headed, impulsive, presumptuous, uh, stupid, often don't think through their decisions, you know, just standard classic things that anyone with a shred of maturity has stopped doing. And the one time, not two days after I agree to travel with anyone, I'm then almost killed by impulsivity, immaturity, and stupidity. So, so Myla, with the best will in the world, how do you think I feel? I feel betrayed. I'm angry. I would very much like to kill something. And I want to go 
go home, but I fucking can't, so I'm stuck in this stupid fucking forest. And that's just great. Should I start a conversation with him? Maybe I can go over. I think that you should wait. I think that Mala needs some time with him. I think that he's probably not best pleased with me either. I simply thought that for once, spending time with people different would be interesting, educational. And here we are. Has it been interesting and educational? Yes, but not in the way that any of you want it to be. I have, I've often thought that my family are unusual views, or wrong, that maybe, maybe there is more. You know, maybe outside of Coldhaven people aren't, as my brother and sisters think. But do you know what really makes me very sad right now? They're right. I've been gone for six months, and they're right. What do they think? Oh, they think you're all lesser foolish creatures with no concept of anything beyond yourselves. Maybe they're right, but maybe they're not. Do you think that about all of us right now? No. Do you think it about yourself? Well, yes, I'm clearly the biggest idiot of all of us here. Because for a second, I started to trust. Maybe all of us start to trust eventually. And then we almost get killed for what? Joke? Prank? I don't know if it was, well, it wasn't thought through, yes. but we all do things that we come to regret. I murdered two people just doing their job yesterday. This will be of absolutely no comfort to you whatsoever, I'm sure, but... Uh... It gets a lot easier. Oh, I've obviously I've I've killed people before. I I just had never. They, there was always a reason, and yeah. But we we all regret things, and we learn, and we grow, and it takes some people longer than others, and some people never grow. That is that is right. My people very slow on the growth thing. Um, Mine have a tendency to stagnate. Hmm. But in the end, you have found people who are there to, you know, have your back and try and help and try and put you through things. And yeah, you might want to kill something right now, but I think you'd regret it. Respectfully, Myla, I give it approximately 15 minutes before everyone here tells me I have to leave. Why? Because by now it's obvious. What's obvious? Oh, come on. You're smarter than that. Hasn't taken long. I thought it would take a lot longer, actually. You know, I have gone so long, so long, without anyone ever finding out. I'm tired. I think he's hiding something. Should I go and ask him if he's hiding something? I feel like Saskia. he's- Saskia. Saskia, honey. Sorry. Just, here, let's just sit and think. Would you like to practice, practice some forms with me? Yeah. You seem like you enjoy fighting. Sure. Now I should take you through some basic self-defense. Sure. Yeah. Some basic no. Alexi, sorry. No, no, please. No, 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 no. I was just going to ask DT what DT Yeah, I'd like to maybe. Um, you know, we've kind of had a bit of a. 
you seem relatively interested in me before. I'm going to see if maybe I can try and join that join that conversation. This, this one here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you burn your hat too, mate? No, I... No, 22, I never had a hat. Hmm. This is a funny day, isn't it? Not exactly ha-ha funny. Look, and... Alexi just kind of pats Dirty 20 on the arm and just places his hand on Miles' shoulder for a second. I... I would have accepted all of you. It wouldn't have been immediate, but it, I, I would have. I simply want that to be known. What you are, what you've done, it means nothing to me. But, as the age-old saying goes, let us pull the bandage off quickly. I think sometimes you can meet people that become more like family than any you were born into. You've clearly never met the House of Karstav. They are twats. <laughs> Every fucking one of them. I have not. No. Right, shall we? I guess. I want it known. I never would have harmed you. And Alexi turns around <laughs> and marches over <laughs> to Saskia and Mayweather. Don't look at me. We're, we're Don't look doing... at me. This is. This is... <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, oh, you... we're, we're pushing. We're pushing through some forms. And you walk up, like, Alexi. So you, actually, you just, up. You, the two of you may want to be over here for this. I'm not going to say it twice. We're, yeah, might as followed. Mm -hmm. First of all, you nearly fucking killed me. Yeah, actually... Um, it's one word. It's five letters. Just try it. It's what, what, sorry? That is not accepted. That's fucking terrible. Yeah. But you're not dead. Oh. Yeah. Um, also, did you write notes? Because you could totally use this for science. Is this how humans apologise? If you wrote down your, maybe. your experience, then you could use it for science. And maybe it would have been worthwhile? If I decide to stay, which I've not decided... Why would you leave? Because you almost killed me. Yeah, it wasn't on purpose. Right, then why, what was it for? Well, quite frankly, I'd become a child, and um, actually, at the time... <laughs> At the time, it was funny. It is not now. But question: um, Why did you nearly die? You said you were human. Yes, I'm not. Okay. Uh, so, what are you? You wouldn't know the word for it. Well, could you try? My people, you look human. Mm -hmm. But we don't age. As such. We're not undead, that's silly. That's, in fact, undead. It's, it's not living, we are alive. They said you were a year older, but nearly dying. So how does that work out? Because I was starving. Oh, you have to feed on blood. He has to feed on blood. I think he needs to feed on blood. Ah, oh, you, you are a, a warforged as well. Feeder. You, wait, you drink blood? No. You, okay. Mm. 
So a year, okay, so a year with no blood meant you would have died. I, yeah. I did I did not know that. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. So I, if you maybe not kept secrets, then, you know. Do I know what this is? Uh, <gasps> Are you a vampire? <laughs> I really don't like that word. Are you a... You have seen me walk... Oh, you are an idiot. You've seen me walk around in the daylight. Yes. Right, so can I be a vampire? No. no. You've seen me walk across water. Mm. These are all things vampires can't do. Wait, wait, what? Do. I've seen you walk... Well, Over a bridge, honey. A bridge. Oh. Saskia, make a... <sighs> Literally on water. Make a Jesus? Make a history check. <laughs> history check. Um, history check. Uh, may, wait, you may also make it. Any of you can make a history check at this point. Ooh, 14. Oh, I see my going to make this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can if you really want. Milo's, Milo's just going to be like, Alexi, doesn't seem like they're going to ask you to leave. 13. Based on your common rumored knowledge of vampires, nothing that Alexi has done in the last few days and the last sort of week for you has indicated typical vampire tendencies. There's no coffin, water's not a problem, they can enter buildings without specifically needing to be invited. There's no, and they, they, as, as they said, doesn't appear to be any sort of undeath. Go do, away. Do I have any idea as to what this might be? Uh, with your specific history check, no, you do not. All right. What do they call you? <sighs> it's a sort of curse. Oh. My Ancestor, the first of my house, referred to it as becoming a Reloka. One more time. Do not ask me questions right now. I'm Reloka. very much struggling not to tear your throat from your neck. Mm -hmm. Do not look at me like I'm a monster. You yourself. I'm not looking at you like you're a monster. You said that there is a food chain. My kind simply exists above yours. So I'm like food? You want to eat me? Am I, are we? I take a step towards you. Am I food to you? Alexa? You are not food. I would never harm you. Good. Are Just you... her or like? Well, you should be very careful. Ooh. But I do drink from people, I drain them entirely. On our last day in whatever fucking port town we were in before we came here, I killed people. Why? Because I was hungry. And you never thought that you wouldn't need to kill someone to feed? Well, it kind of gets a bit problematic when there are witnesses. Do you have to kill people to feed properly? No. Okay. Animals are okay too? Yes. Ooh, where's the egg? Except. The egg um, has not been born yet. Then that just seems like everyone here who eats meat to me. That's exactly what it seems like to me. But people have a tendency to see. Why are you mad? Because I almost died. Other than that. Other than I wasn't aware. I apologize. <laughs> it was it was sorry, sorry. I am actually sorry. Um, but you're not dead, and I actually think you still have a great deep V, and you're now younger than you were before, and so in the here and now, other than being a bit younger, has anything else changed? Well, we don't really age. I think I've been this for the last hundred years, so... So other than me nearly killing you, there's nothing else that I should, you know, there's no other issues between us? It's just the fact you nearly died. Is yes. that it? Oh, okay. Oh, guys, it's it's fine, right? Like I didn't know, so technically I have zero fault because I didn't know. The rapier is very slowly drawn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I sidestep in front of her and and look at him. Hold it, hold him to his hands, Alexi. I'm sorry that you didn't feel like you could tell me that. Yeah, I mean, if you told people. I understand. You understand that this is the closest kept secret my family has kept for millennia. If anyone knew what we are. I mean, I kind of feel like we, we, we could help you. Blood, I feel like that's a thing we need. 
We could help you. Help in what way? Well, you said it was a curse. <gasps> Curses can be broken. We'll lift the curse. We'll oh. find what you need to lift the curse, and then we can all be friends again and adventure. He Why? Might, he might not want the curse lifted. I don't want the curse lifted. So what's the bloody problem? You seem upset that you have a curse, and now I'm trying to get rid of the curse. I can just, how can I help? I feel like I owe you something. You do. Yeah. It will be a very long time before I forgive you. You have a lot of work That's to do. That's fine. But what can I do in the immediate here and now? Maybe just step over that way? Yes. Yeah, cool. And she steps away. Cool. I am going to need to eat. That's all right. We can feed you. We're you... in a forest. People will die. Why will people die? Because it's... You said you don't need to kill people to eat. No, no, but it's hardly the same. <laughs> I'm sorry, little Lord Fornoroy. Are you telling me that you can't live without killing people for food? Come Please, on. I mean, everyone tasted. Have you ever had animal blood? No, of course you haven't. That's silly. It's, <laughs> it's not... It's like... Eating a sandwich that's wrapped in paper. It's horrendous. Well, perhaps there's other ways around these things. Okay. You could you could sneak up on people in the middle of the night from behind and just drink a little bit. Well, you yes, but then could they tend to be rather angry after that. Yeah, but they haven't seen you there. That's where the sneak at part comes. Well that tends to be why I just killed them. But instead of killing people or you could chill or you could pick people to eat that are particularly awful. I wouldn't mind if you had a crack at Sarah Cave here. Society just pops around and goes, so you were always feeding. We just didn't know you needed to feed, so you're mad because we now know that you need to feed. You were just doing it in secret before. That is not the only reason I am angry, but oh, yes. Oh, the killing thing and the dying and the right. yeah. Um, but now we know that you need to kill people to feed. You were just doing that secretly before, so you've always been a murderer, but now we know you're a murderer. You're mad that we know you're a murderer. Well, I don't quite like the term murderer. Perhaps you could have just a little bit of a drink from her and <laughs> satisfy your cravings and then we can call it quits, but not kill her. Just a taste. Difficult, but I can. I feel like if he has a taste, then he might just want more. And I think... You're really not that attractive. She, oh, great. You can, don't have to have my blood. I will keep it all. Okay, man. the important thing is, no one asked you to leave. No one has a problem with it. The next thing, I guess, from a practical standpoint, is when you're gonna get hungry again, if we're out here, which might be a bit tricky, but can you last on animals until we find somewhere better? Yes, it's perfectly fine. There we go. The other problem, I suppose, is you're worried about your family secret getting out. Yes, because if it does, there's going to be one place where it comes from, and that will be one of you, mm -hmm. which will mean that not only am I very quickly killed, but you are, as are your friends, your family, your friends' families. Seems like a good reason not to tell anyone. I imagine that information is quite valuable. Not the right time, perhaps. He He's really is a laugh. You want to spend more time with him, don't you? Do I? You really do. Never seen a Warforged with wooden parts before? Come on, Lexi. Don't be so stiff and serious. We all nearly die at one point or another. I don't do that nudge thing. Right, well, are we staying here? We can stay here. We can. We can so make what's a delicacy, nice. like, in blood terms? Like, what's, what's the dish? You know what? She's you know, still like alive. The... I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah. Cause I will, I will, I can, I will try and find that for you, and maybe, maybe then you'll forgive me if I get you like the good, the good shit, like the good blood. So what's, what's the good? Tieflings are slightly spicier. Yeah. <laughs> what a line. <laughs> Anything else? That shit is gonna be on a t-shirt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I never really had a preference for dwarves. Okay. What's the, you know, what's that? I don't know. Oh. 
So, tea, friends. I think given that we're all stranded out here, we're not going anywhere, you're not going anywhere, if you don't plan on selling your family secrets... No. You would die. Immediately. Mm. I have no plans of that. Long-term value over short-term gain. We're working on it. Clearly. Seems like it's just something you're going to have to trust us to help you with. It will be very dangerous. This is why I travel alone. And now you've got friends. Mm Mm-hmm or accessories, as I'm sure the constabulary would have it. There's a reason you left, honey. We ain't no one's accessories. We've already all been in jail together. Most of us all been in jail together anyway. You do understand that in me telling you that I've murdered several people, that you are now accessories. I... That is not how that works. Might be that how that works with the law, but that is not how that works. With ourselves. We will be accessories to murder once we help you find someone evil, preferably Sarah Carefury, and you eat them. You have literally watched me kill people. And I'm okay with you taking the blood of villains, that's not a problem. I am fine with it. Well, this is unexpected. Interesting. Very well. I will remain for the time being. Are you going to try and drink my blood, or can I, like, can I be cool, or do I have to keep, like, looking over my shoulder? just want to make sure, so. Can I keep one eye open, or...? I have a slight inclination that the other three would frown upon it, Mm. were I to drain you in your sleep. That we would, Alexi. I hope more than frown upon. (laughs) That would make you a real murderer. Be a light wrap on the knuckles. What if it was you he drained in your sleep? I'm taking a chance. We all are. Alexi sheaths the rapier (laughs) and his eyes start to slowly turn back to a silver blue. (sighs) You're not out of the woods. Technically, none of us are. (laughs) Yeah, you are agreeing to stay with... All of us is terrible jokes. Well, in the nicest way possible, I clearly need someone to travel with that won't kill me. And with all well wishes and so on and so forth, you clearly need my help. Hey, he taught us about science. Just so we're all... Anyone else who has anything that if they nearly died or something happened that might cause them to die that we should know about in advance? Like, you're allergic to sand? I I don't know, just anything we should know about? No. I am a clean book. Open book is the phrase, and you're really not... Correct. I am a open book. More of, like, we've seen sort of a cover, but not that much else yet. Just, you know, let us know if there is anything that we should keep you away from. Water, that sort of thing. Water is bad. Water's bad. See? Learning something new. So I am working. sharing. <laughs> I can last 12 days before I die. Okay. From today or from when you last drank? From when I last drank. And how long has it been since you last drank? I don't know. I was thrown for a time portal. How long has it been since you last drank? Since be- when was the last time you drank before you were thrown through no, the time portal? No, when I got portal. the spiders. They tasted awful. There you go. Got you have your days. flask on you, Back. right? Yes. Okay, so... That's a valid point. Have a look. <laughs> Alexi. <laughs> this question. Oh, no, it's ranted. Ah. Pulls out what's essentially just black. Nothing. <laughs> no, nothing pulls it. It's solidified. It's oh. fine. You need to clean it, and you need to clean it properly before you can use it again. Could we potentially uh, put the Sorry, egg buddy. 
through the time speeder upper and then slit the throat of the young griffin Ooh, so no, you can drink no, its blood. No, that no, would no, work perfect. No, no, no. no. We, you have 11 days and I don't want to kill this baby. Please. Nope. I will start to deteriorate in two days. Yeah, we, we should get you something. Um, there's animals around here. Excellent. We can go hunt. You look around. Make a perception check. As in not in the glade. <laughs> oh, like, right, right, sorry. I thought you In the sort of specific. more, because we, yeah, there were animals, right, as we were, we were running through and then it kind of like went quiet. Well, and when you came in, in, yeah. Yeah. You look around, it's a full blizzard. This isn't like Lotus, not like Snowfall. This is a full mm. winter storm. Suddenly my okay. egg idea doesn't seem so stupid now, does it? <laughs> um, okay. In fact, if anyone wants to make a nature check. Oh. Uh, I will. I sense Alex needs something else to focus on right now. Sure. Let's let's figure out how to sort this out. Nine! Ooh. 19. 19. Ooh. It's part of your travels and like exploring and stuff. You've tracked the stars and the shape of the moons and everything else. And judging by the particular position of everything, this doesn't feel like autumnal time at all. In fact, this is a lot closer to frost front, which is winter. Deep frost front. Ooh. Perhaps so. we should go... Sorry. Yeah, please. Perhaps we should go back inside to the temple. I'm worried those two may not make it through cold weather. I don't know how that would go for you either. I'm assuming you're well insulated. I am no stranger to snowy weather. All we right. need to get Alexi something, though. He'll be okay until the storm passes. Can we see out of this area, this ancient area? Like you, you can see a line of trees at the dot in the clearing. Yeah, it's is not it as winter as that side as well? Is it because we're in Winter as far as, far as you can okay, see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in a limited position. Yeah. I think our larger priority here is to find out what date it is. The date? Can I get a rough idea from the stars? From the stars, it's been yeah. several months at least. It's been several months. We're... Yeah, when dead of winter. But the time in this glade is just the time in this glade, right? So if we True. leave, we, we can we'll go it. back to today, maybe, or maybe it's permanent. Poor Melee's brain. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Rose's brain. Aww. Okay, <laughs> let's leave the glade. It'll be warmer and a bit more sheltered under the trees anyway. And then we can ask Alexi what you'd prefer, whether we try and hunt you some winter animals if it is the same outside of it, or if we have to resort to other options. All right. Cool. Let's go. Yeah. We can we can guide our way through a storm. Are oh, we yeah. heading our way back to Nata? Are we, what are we doing with this egg? Like, I'd love to keep it. But <laughs> Let's go like back to Nata. Like yeah. So you guys want to head back to Nata? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, cool. Great. Now, for the sake of, uh, you two have had full rests in, in the time you've travelled, so you have cool. a kilometre long rest. Yeah. You three have not. Um, cool. Great. So you, you walk away. Question. Stump, Did yes, I please. get a short rest while I was chilling out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think, yeah, for the nine hours. You all got short rest while you were waiting. That's, that's completely fine. Cool. So you start heading in the south sort of direction. And you've got to find out Pine Stubb is odd, oddly quiet at this point. Not a lot seems to be happening, but you head, start heading south through the forest. Bye. Mm. You get like a deep rumble over the sound of the storm. Oh, honey. And you break through the trees and you start making your way south. Now, for you, it's only been a few hours, so finding your way is going to be quite easy, but I will need some survival checks. Yes. Uh, whoever wants to take the lead on that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is I mean, I'm not a good survival check, but I am a snow elf, so does that mean I get it? You can roll or you can I think it's two of us taking the lead. So All right, I'll give, I'll give my cool. advantage. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so 19. 19. Cool. You, you managed to find your way through. There's no sign of where you came in at all. Yeah. Um, but you've got that rough sense of direction of having that nice track on the stars earlier and which way the wind's blowing. You managed to sort of push through um, and start walking. There's still like a sense of sunrise or sunset coming through the woods despite the cold and the dark and the night and everything else. There's still that sense of light permeating and penetrating through the forest and the god rays sort of heading in. Um, and as soon as you're back under the cover of the trees, everything seems... seems Back a piece. There's not much in the way of animals, though, being what feels like the dead of winter coming through. Um, but you make your way properly. Um, Saskia, did you know? Damn, it's cold. <laughs> oh, um, there's things you can do to keep warm. Um, so, like, 
tense your legs repeatedly, keep doing that. Just like make sure you keep moving and um, blow into your into your hands. You can put your hands like here. That'll that'll help keep them warm. There's, there's just loads of things. Um, yeah. You you can make sure your your boots are good and, and like yeah, Milo will just like start rattling through <laughs> like winter survival tips. <laughs> Mayway's gonna open her coat a little bit because she's a bit enjoying. Yeah, great for you guys. This is this is like a summer <gasps> theme. Yeah, Milo's having great. a lovely time. Yeah. So great. Cool. Okay, another survival check, please. Yep. Anyone else? Anyone want to? Yeah, okay. Go on. Yeah, go on. 18. 18. Nice. Yeah. A bit older, a bit wiser. And even <laughs> to revisit your old stomping grounds, you remembered a couple of things again, and all those roles almost melted away. Um, and you, you take charge with this new sense of maturity and quite ready to prove your usefulness suddenly to a certain member of the party. You take the lead through. Yeah, I take the lead and I just whisper back to D22. Does your GPS say we're going the right way? Currently, I'm, I have my umbrella upturned. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're all sitting in boats, and I'm sitting in that with my rope tied. Okay. You're pulling. Um, <laughs> um, just, 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 <laughs> and, uh, that must and, be really heavy. And, and going, cute. Beep, beep, beep. Just checking. Uh, yes, I believe we are going the correct way. Fantastic. So you do this for about 30 minutes. It's very bumpy. You're, you're, if you had a bump, it would be very sore right now on every, every single route. And you get to you get to a clearing, and you hear footsteps. Fifteen sets of footsteps rumbling from opposite clearing. What would you like to do? Stop, guys. Can you hear that? Take a perception check, everyone. Wait, I already hear. It, right? Natural yeah, twenty. Right. Cool. Ooh, six. Same. Twenty-one. Anyone? Also, that's a 26. Six. 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 Okay. Holy you fuck. Two, yeah, 26 with my natural 20. Fantastic. <laughs> you don't seem to hear. You're at the front, and the three of you come, and you all stop, and you sort of pause, still at the edge of the trees, not quite a noble clearing. You look across. You see 15 goblins with different crates and sacks, all running and hooping and hollering straight across um, from west to east, running through into the other line of trees, running and running and running, and then as you wait, you see what appears to be a large orc with a massive gut on the back of a large white wolf running alongside them into the forest. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on! He cracks a whip as the golems you and whoop and holler and run through. <laughs> Off to the west. Are they coming from where Nara was? Uh, no. Okay. That'll be the raiding camp. Mm-hmm. And I think that's who we saw what? Making off from the camp with the Renthium. It wasn't the orc Why? though, right? We, no, it but was the a white, goblin, but that white, white beast, we've seen yeah. that beast before. Oh my. How strong are they? Have you fought them? The goblins? Pretty, yeah. pretty easy. Don't know about the big guy though, or the beast. What would you like to do? Would you like to keep going to Nata or would you like to follow the goblins? We got yeah. an egg. Alexi. We've got an egg. How do goblins taste? I actually don't know. Interested to find out? Of course. Oh. They might have our stuff. Perhaps. Anyone want to go back to Nata with me? This egg needs its mother. Thought you wanted to be its mother. I'd love to, but with maturity come wisdom, and with wisdom comes maternal instinct. It needs to get back to its mum. We could go back to Nata, drop the ed egg off, uh, and then and then know come. where the raiding camp is. Go after them. I think I would like to do go in that direction, in that order. Let's do that. You're assigned to formulate a plan. If we could, if there are more of them than us, we'd need some sort of ambush that would uh, help us trim down the number of goblins. Mm -hmm. so are you and we waiting? can try to stick to the plan this time. I I'm aware I... Are you waiting at the edge of the tree for them to finish crossing, or are you running yeah, no. and talking at the same yeah. time? Yeah, I think this is like... Yeah, yeah. we'll stealthily yeah. hide while yeah. they get the fuck out, and then we'll... Talking with the, our eyes just locked on. Right. <laughs> Alright. So you wait. Wait a few minutes until the coast is clear, and carry on towards Nata with still a good survival roll. I need one more, please, to find the right direction from someone else. I don't mind going. Yeah. Go on, My survival is terrible. Do you want me to help? <laughs> Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. I mean, do I was that. about. To, I was about. To, yeah, I've got you've got to say before. <laughs> uh, nine with no, obviously no bonus. Nine. Yes. You were about to get guidance. <laughs> <coughs> Alexis, uh, not Alexis. Sorry, D twenty two is feeling very confident. 
and, gra- and picks up, gets out of the shakes out the snow and grabs your arms. Like, right, come on, let's go. And just completely takes you off in the wrong direction. But you don't know that. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Half an hour, 45 minutes of running. You feel like maybe you're not quite going the right way. Mm-hmm. One more survival check from someone, please. I swear this is a shortcut. Shall I pick this one back up again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. If you insist. Can I get one from both you and, and Sasuke? Cool. I'm going to guidance myself. Um, <laughs> 19. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, 10 plus whatever my guidance is, so you... D4. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But as in, I haven't rolled it yet, so... So your, your instincts are good, and you manage to like get the party going, but Sasuke recognises... One of the crash sites from the Griffin, the first one you guys found, and then from there you're able to like pick the right direction mm. and make your way directly towards nothing. Yeah, guys, we've yeah, it's this way. Was there any blood on that first Griffin we found? Oh, it would be far too cold now. Picky. <laughs> it, it's been months. It has to be living, otherwise it's there's no nourishment in it. It will just make me vomit. It's like if you were to eat rotting food. He doesn't eat. Mm. It's like if any of you were to eat rotting food. Understood. All right. You crash through, a couple of animals pop up from time to time. You spot a white deer running through the forest in the opposite direction. And suddenly you find yourselves up against the wall of plants, which before was like lush and green, is now thick bramble with spikes. Right. Mm-hmm. What can, would you like to do? Can I uh, unsheath the rapier and just kind of like hold it a bit by the blade and just like tap the hills on the thorns? <laughs> like I'm knocking on a door. Sure. Hiya. Nada. Nada, we're back. So you're we got knocking an egg. on the wall with the... Uh, mm-hmm. with, uh, with the hilt. We got oh, not the blade. Not the blade. Okay. No, no response. Griffin, I've got your baby. Nata. You hear... Oof, behind you. Nata looks old. Beaten. Her arm's back. She clings to her staff, shivering in the cold. Hi. Ha. We found the egg. We found the egg. We found our friends. Oh Oh dear. Okay. Oh dear? I assume the mother is long dead. What? Oh no, the mother, I hope she's fine, but... You took her, so where is the mother? It's been seven months. And? The mother stopped waiting and flew off. It's been seven months. The mother thought... Wait, when is this going to hatch? Usually That's three or four weeks. It's been with us. Longer. It's been in normal time. Well, hang, hold, hold on. Where, where, where have you been? And she doesn't Today. hesitate. She opens the Pine ramble stop. in front of... For fuck's sake. <laughs> we right, saw come you in, earlier come. today. Yeah. Oh, she that's... starts. She starts shepherding you in, and you walk in, and like it's it's winter. The crops are dead. It's flat ground. You look ahead, like the cabin's still there. There's smoke rising from the chimney. She's got a few tents and provisions set up. She's stocked up for the winter. You see Grouch sleeping in the front, snoring. Snow covering him. He's he's very fat. He's hibernating at the moment. Hmm. Okay, dearies, please come, 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 come. And as soon as you go through, she raises the wall again. It's not. It's not being good in these forests. I. I got Irish for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you are a woman of change and accent. Don't worry. <laughs> a woman of many realms. <laughs> Changes with the seasons, you see. <laughs> Dear, dearies, I, I, we thought you gone. The mother, I, we waited. I, nur- I nursed her. She, she went home, but I don't think she knows her baby's alive. She flew north, but that doesn't matter. We, the raiding party grew, and we the saw forest. Them. Been overrun. Oh, what? Town won't help. They've locked down in the last last couple of months after well some incidents with the local guard. Right. How many? How, how many what? Raiders, in the forest. Oh, I I couldn't tell you. Scores tens, twenties, thirties, but normally goblins they're unorganized, but they've had a new leader. His name's Clubgut. Fancies himself a bit of a bit of a general. He's taken over an old fort far, far, far to the east on near one of the roads, and they, they spend their time raiding. I would not wish to ask for your help once more. I understand you have things to do. Um, and I'm very sad that poor baby will not see his mother. I, she 
takes the egg. And... You don't need to worry about asking us for help. We were already planning on dealing with the raiding party, so that's okay. As long as you promise to look after that egg. Oh, what dare you have my word. She takes it, she takes some pot, she swallows it, and she brings it over to Grouch. Grouch sniffs a little bit and leans up. Apples? And you see a little pouch. And you don't see anything else, but you see a slip the egg inside. Pat's Grouch on the, on the head. Comes back now. Well, I suppose you're quite tired. Yeah. You're welcome to stay. Um, I think there's a lot to fill you in on. Alright. And with that, I'm going to call it into today's episode. <sighs> oh. <laughs> that was a ride. That was a ride. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. We'll chat about it in a second, I'm sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, that was great. I Yeah. Cool. We'll see you guys next time. We'll figure out what, what's, what's going to happen. Some raiding parties? An egg? What, what, what this is all about? <laughs> Cool. All right. Until next time, uh, have a good one and we'll see you soon. All right. Thanks. Bye.